Good afternoon, folks. If y'all are still here with me, or if you're back, if you've returned from your own kind of like lunch or meal, welcome back. We are going to be switching over to RimWorld now. <clears throat> and trying desperately to research electricity so we can make like a, cool, a freezer and have like electric food making and you know that kind of stuff. It will make, it'll be a big quality of life improvement and set us up for the future. But before we get to that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. If that sounds like a cause you'd be willing to support, I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donation an exclamation point donate command that get, takes you there as well. My chatbot shares that every 30 minutes. And I have a QR code you can scan when the stream comes up that will take you to the donation page as well. I don't see any money or any kickback at all from this. It just helps me to support a good cause while trying to play something that's interesting or entertaining for y'all. So I think it's kind of the best of both worlds. Either way, if you choose to donate or if, you, if you're not able to and you just want to hang out, that's totally fine too. I appreciate you either way. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. <clears throat> now let's open up fucking Rim World. Uh, okay, looks like my refund for the fucking Pizza Tower game went through because it's no longer in my stuff. Good. Let me double check that real quick before I start. Just because I. It's, apparently it still is. Fucking slow ass shit. Thankfully, um, I played like one minute of it and um i bought it literally yesterday so there should be plenty of time for the refund to go through anyway let's go ahead and get rim world going round so this very round picture like not like like obsessively round but like just like Amphros just being a round critter on Twitter and that makes me smile because Amphros good Amphros is a top tier design and the mega is cool too all right game My mouth pooting noises weren't reacting with my leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I lo that's one of my favorite things, was if I just very briefly talked, a little leaf flops around. I like that a lot. It's one of the reasons why I made that part of the activation thing. It's just, I like it. One day when I get a freaking uh, full, like, like a live 2D model, this is going to be horrifying because... I'll probably have it similar to the transformed version where, like, when I talk, the um, mouth opens with teeth. And maybe while it's idle, I'll have, like, the lips kind of gently, like, the seam. I guess lips are te is technically the correct term. Have the seam kind of gently, like, wiggle around to show, like, little glimpses of the teeth, maybe. Or maybe not. I think it might be more uh, jarring to have it um, just the mouth open. Come on, game. Come on, RimWorld. You you're you can open. I promise. This game's got some interest. Then it's all, then again, it's also like loading up all the mods I've installed too. So just gotta be patient. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat some more chips. Chip ASMR. Oh. 
Uh, uh oh. Um. All right. Huh. I think all these are like outdated old mods. Yeah. So. All right. Let's uh. Let's load up our game. The Purple Octopus Kroka. <laughs> the hell of a name. Haven't had any mods since last time. Alright, what's going on? I can't remember exactly what was going on. Oh, we got this stuff going. All, all these shelves that let us store a lot more things in a short, shorter area. I remember us making tail caps. We've got a shelf here for meals as well. I think it was like right on the cusp of spring. We're kind of like preparing to... Uh, Yeah, I got all these zones set up. And then we'll have this set up too, so we can get a bunch of hay grass made. Which will allow us to, um... Hay grass will let us, uh, keep animals. Like, we can get some alpacas or something and raise them up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this fucking... We had, like, some monkeys or something out here. I think we still do. We got some monkeys out here, and this dude's like, oh, I'm gonna leave, and then, um, fucker, um, got torn to fucking ribbons, <laughs> and I think we were gonna have you fight the monkey, fight the monkey, or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, let's maybe have you not get murdered by the monkey. What are you doing? Do not take the monkey to Splash Mount. <laughs> I kind of forgot I named the freaking zone down here Spl Splash Mount. <laughs> Fucking hell. Forgot about that. But yeah, this is where we take all the, uh, the corpses to go of humanoids. So that they can uh, rot out of sight, out of mind. And in general, it's also for... Uh, oh, we got a little... Uh, a dryad now. No, how about you uh, not do that, Olabar? Uh, Lemur's also the constructor anyway, so she have no problem. Uh, Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, this turkey's also Manhunter. Alright. Are you, like, six still? No, okay. I remember last stream, uh, Huntsman and Olabar were also... Uh, had the flu, I think. But I think they got... I believe they got over it. Our medicine reserves are a bit low, so we're going to be planting some over the, the se growing season. Uh, let's see. I think it's bedtime. Probably just, uh... Yeah, it's bedtime for Lemur and Huntsman. They are at... Uh, I don't think don't think they're married yet. Yeah, they're engaged though. We can just wait, wait out the enemies. They'll they'll leave eventually. He's just kind of wandering around because there's not much for him to do currently. Another uh, few uh, days, the growing season should be in full swing and he'll be very busy, but 
for now, he's just kind of existing. What you can eventually do is, um, like, some, if vanilla-wise, using, like, vanilla tactics is, uh, like, wall on an area like this, like, roof it over, and then put a sun lamp in, and then you can grow stuff year-round that way if you really want to. We're not that desperate for stuff. We don't really have the tech to do it anyway, even if we wanted to. And this this dude got fucking chewed up. <laughs> got his shit kicked him by the turkey feet, the monkey fist. <laughs> turkey feet, monkey fist, monkey fist, turkey feet, monkey fist, monkey fist, monkey, fist, monkey teeth. <laughs> He's just kind of running around. Hmm. It's just unfortunate that we're stuck inside. I could have him go, like, making more bricks or something. It's kind of one of his things I have him do a lot. But I'd rather not have him get assaulted and hurt by the, the monkeys. Oh, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing, they're doing stuff. Let's not look at that. They're, they're busy. Okay, I think they're asleep now. <laughs> the room where people were uh, doing uh, what people do sometimes. Um, I don't know which came first, but I have a feeling they're both kind of based on like the same kind of like system in a way. Yeah, this uh, this is RimWorld. It's based off of uh, being like on like an alien planet out on like the edge of the galaxy and. There's different, like, factions and stuff. It's it's technically a story generator as opposed to an actual game. But there's plenty of game, and there's, like, DLCs add more game stuff to spice it up. Let me show you the world. Okay, this is where we live. We're this little guy, and we've got a bunch of factions. Yeah, that's understandable. This game, um, lets you, uh, do... All kinds of unsavory things. You can like do war crimes against people. You cannot do war crimes against people. It's very open-ended. Like if you want, you could like kidnap people and take their organs out and sell them for money, or you can uh, I don't know, just have a nice little colony where you um, grow rice. <laughs> or there's just like a million mods too. So there's just all sorts of stuff you can do in this game. It's a lot more open-ended, but. Let's see, let's look at our factions. Because we've got uh, Eastern Veristan. A lot of these names are just kind of uh, made up, like on the spot here. We've got Eastern Veristan, they're a tr civil outlander union. They can sell pretty decent stuff. Mapogmoil Pact, Rough Pig Union. No, they're enemies, so it's, uh, they, they probably at some point send stuff after us. The Grey Mule Branya, Bloody Teeth. High army. Oh, that's the that's their that's their religion. The kick. Uh, Ferovo Firehome or Impids. Yeah, the newest uh, newest DLC to uh, RimWorld added like n other cre other life other uh, races other than just human. Now you can have like these furry like yak people, these pig people. Neanderthals, like imp people, like these wasted waste creatures, like it's it adds a lot, even more depth. <laughs> right now we only have humans, but at some point we might end up uh, recruiting someone of a different uh, m genome. They also added child rearing and genetics in this the newest DLC too. So currently we're um we've got some uh, very upset monkeys and a turkey out here. Well, the turkeys calm down. Low food. Hello, Lycus. Welcome. Hope you're doing good today. Got Olabar here eating some eating a meal. These two are asleep because because Lemur is a night owl and Huntsman. I just like well, I'll just keep them at the same schedule. Might as well so they can sleep together. Lady has gotten food poisoning from Simple Meal. Dirty cooking area. Well, there's always so much we can really do about that currently. She's just gonna have to suffer a little bit. She'll just like run around and clean, I guess. <laughs> I 
And these monkeys are just really mad. You better calm down, turkeys. I think the turkey has calmed down, but yeah, the monkeys are still just manhunter. They'll probably calm down soon. I could try to kill them. Like, there were three monkeys, but one of them ran into my uh, spike traps over here. My first line of defense against uh, <clears throat> raiders are these. It would probably do good to have us have this uh, line be uh, not too much longer because if the path's too long, the enemies start uh, thinking there's better ways to get into your base and will maybe attack walls and stuff like that. So you have to be very careful when you're doing defenses because the the AI will outthink your ass if you're not cautious. The story behind this person here, Eric, it looks like. He, um, he fell off out, out of the sky, so I was like, okay, we're gonna, like, take him into our hospital and take care of him, and when he leaves our, the map healthy, we'll get a, a boost to the faction he's from, which is Eastern Veristan, which is one of our trading people that we trade with when they come around. But that's when the monkeys and the turkey came, and they just beat his ass right here, so now we have to heal him up again. <laughs> Like, like, this game can just throw all kinds of just, like, garbage at you. Depending on what storyteller you pick. I picked Randy Random because he can just give you any event from the event pool. <coughs> Almost regardless of, like, the requirements of, of some of the events. Like, sometimes you just get a whole bunch of, like, really beneficial events all in a row. And sometimes you just get hit with, like, just nasty, nasty stuff, but... In general, it's just kind of a mix. Like a cold snap. <laughs> cold snaps can quickly kill by hypothermia. Be sure to build a heated space to survive. Wear appropriate apparel and try to harvest crops before they freeze and die. Well, we were gonna plant crops probably starting this day because it's one of the growing seasons here, but it is negative seven outside, so we're probably not gonna be able to grow anything. And these two are both uh, need warm clothes. That door temperature is going to reach 13 degrees, negative 13 Celsius. That's fine. Um, we don't really have the means of making more, too much more warm clothing we have than we have now. We don't have any cloth, so we can't make like the toques, which might be better for uh, keeping warm than the little, little Davy Crockett hats that we have for everyone. But as long as we're inside, it'll be fine. These two mostly research because we are researching electricity, which since I'm a tribal start, you don't start with electricity and everything takes twice as long to research, so. Oh yeah, she got food poisoning from uh, eating a, uh, a, t a, a, a meal that was cooked in the dirty uh, area because we don't really have any way to not have a dirty area most of the time. Although it's weird because, like, I keep it sterile in here as often as possible, but maybe it, uh, factored in this area instead. So I might end up moving this door further away. Yeah, well, maybe that'll help resolve things because... I was worried that with this door open when they're standing there, maybe it calculates this as part of the dirtiness too. Hard to say. But it sounds like the monkeys are probably gone because I don't hear them screaming anymore. <laughs> so we could probably send a... Uh, so what bow do you have? You just have a... Oh, you have a, a heavy bone great bow. Okay. Uh, so we might have Olibar go hunt something. Let's see what we got wildlife on the map. Oh, we have two dryads now. Or dryads. <laughs> I can't read. A uh, bunch of ibex rams. We got some alpacas. There's a warg. That's unfortunate. Uh, rhinoceros. Grizzly bears. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's... Where's this alpaca? We'll go try to kill one of these one of the boy alpacas because 
if we, if we can tame two of them later on, well, they're, if they're still on the map, then we can start having a bunch of alpacas and get wool from the Mookies to make clothing, etc., etc. But yeah, let's have Olabar come on over here, and we'll pick out one to shoot, and we'll uh, get some more meat. All right, let's see. Mail. Well, let's slow it down a little bit so I can better control. Come on, Olabar. There you go. Hopefully it doesn't leave the map. They can do that. I found that out last stream. They can just, like, leave the map. <laughs> If you know you're like shooting them. Huntsman's gotten oh jeez. Well must have get must have had just been pretty unlucky there to have just a few bad meals and worst part is he's the the cook, so while he's food poisoned, uh we're probably not gonna have a good time with that. Uh let's see. Food poisoning chance. Uh it's still pretty low. So we'll probably still have force him to cook, even though he's got food poisoning, he'll be throwing up everywhere. <laughs> Uh, not, not great, but yeah, we're, we're more, we got to get some meat. Pew. Some shooting practice too. Solar flare, we don't have electricity, so it doesn't matter. Like, we're getting some unfortunate events happening, like... Oh. Oh, the warg is deciding it, it, it's also hungry. So it's, um... So it's gonna eat a good portion of that alpaca. Let's, uh, consume the alpaca. <laughs> So once it's done eating that, we'll come and get the rest of this one. Cause it won't—it's it's probably not gonna eat all of it. Like it's consuming. Yeah, it, it only—it only ate like 16% of the alpaca, so we can come get the the rest afterwards. And here, <laughs> hauling monkey, dead monkey to Splash Mountain too. I have this. There's this area down here that's got um water in it that we're keeping bodies and it's Splash Mountain the reason I'm keeping bodies here is precisely for these listed it's unroofed it's outdoors and shallow water so this durability here will go down by four every day which means in like 25 days this corpse will be gone without us having to do anything with it which is nice I'm a little concerned about this grizzly bear being right here it might end up eating one eating one of our immature dryads here or it might run, wander off and eat something else but they can target your uh your colonists too so you you, you kind of have to be mindful of that is that the other alpaca i think it yeah it is okay <clears throat> And he's gonna go do this, although I wish he would cut a different block, maybe. Uh, what, what are you doing blockwise? Eh, uh, that's fine. Nah, no, we'll have him cut these instead. Uh, suspend, uh, suspend. And then old, old bars, he's the primary planter, and it's a little cold right now, so we can't plant anything because of the cold snap that just decided to happen right around the start of growing season, so. You know, that's fun. He's playing Hoopstone. After that, uh, we'll... Once he wakes... After, after he wakes up, because he, he, he goes to bed at the same time that um, Lemur does. <laughs> Food poison. Oh, hey, we have a... Yeah, we have a turtle. Just solar flare is ending, just throwing up in the doorway to your bedroom. Turtles just walking around. Kind of dragged some of the vomit from the doorway <laughs> into the hallway. 
Not really any reason why we had the turtle. Kind of just self-tamed and... Oh, well, I guess most of those meals must have been just tainted because that was the uh, la that was the last one that we had on the shelf. Lemur is awake. She's going to research. We're going to have to have Huntsman uh, do some cooking because that was our last uh, meal. We did, well, at least we have these this, this pemmican as backup in case we really need it, but it's not much. Okay, he's got a simple meat he's gonna consume. If he can like make it to here without throwing it all up. Maybe he might. Find a brick wrist, all the bars, just been making bricks. All right, um. How about you, uh, go to sleep? Or, oh, you, I guess he has a meal of his own still. Go to sleep. I have to have him cook. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess there's some more meat. Rat just jumped right on top of a trap. All right, we gotta we gotta do, do some do some butchering, and we got these two alpacas we can cut up, and pretty soon this rat too. We'll finish it off and uh, haul it into the room with the rest of them. It's probably not gonna give us much meat, but it's. It's better than nothing. Uh, still got pretty bad food poisoning. Okay, how's our, still only 0.1% chance of food poisoning by incompetence. So we'll probably still be able to make some meals, no problem. Let's go ahead and Oh yeah, recovering, so. Oh, I'm watching this sterile score here, cause that well, that's part of the thing that determines, like, if you have bad uh, food stuff happen, is how clean the room is that you're cooking in. And I was thinking that maybe this room being kind of filthy and this door being here, because when they were previously standing here, the door was open, so I wasn't sure if like it considered that part of the room now or whatever, because it's hard to tell sometimes with RimWorld. Huntsman chatted about using sabers with Lady. Well, at least they're getting along a little bit better. There's been some um, unfavorable... Um, situations with the relationships around here but I think it's kind of panic settling out a little bit okay and that looks like that's gonna be the last meal we're gonna be able to create but all right I don't really need you to uh, I don't really need a uh, huntsman to get a meal for himself oh we got a uh an Ibex Ram over here that uh, we can butcher. Let's add another bill. The reason I don't do butcher forever is because they might like just butcher random shit that I don't want, like insects that 
Oh, I probably need to select Huntsman. That would prob probably help. Now, what are you doing? You're idle. You're pr just, uh, just praying in the corner? No, fair enough. Hauling blocks. No longer capable of walking. Hmm. I don't know. The food poison's probably got you pretty fucked up. Everything's got you pretty fucked up. <laughs> um, you're just, uh, oh, you're gonna grab the simple meal. That's it's fine. You're gonna make. You're gonna do that, and you're gonna cook some more. Like that's like another like fifty something meat that would have otherwise just sat around and rotted. So that's a, that's a good save. We can cook some more meals with that. Make sure it's nice. And cooking up food, fueled stuff. Well, since Lullabar's, well, he's doing that. What what about Lady? Uh, she's not good at shooting at all. She's going to be a melee fighter. Everyone else has decent shooting because I kind of engineered them that way. Kind of. I didn't, I didn't try to make these characters super overpowered. But I tried to make sure I got ones that at least uh, had some love, some competency in shooting. Because otherwise it makes defending yourself a lot harder against uh, raiders and pirates and the like. Uh, let me trick something here. <sighs> Delicious. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the game is just kind of like milling along, just doing daily stuff like hunting and research and taking care of supplies. It's not, it's not always just gung-ho going on raids and like capturing people to sell them or scooping out organs or you know sometimes you just gotta do the simple things the little things what was a dead boar how long has that been dead less than a day oh there's some more meat looks like that's what the the boar was doing the uh, bear rather uh oh it's ooh the ba ooh that's an opportunity Go to sleep, dude. Uh, she'll probably go to sleep afterwards. Uh, Olabar. How about you go uh, try to shoot this bear that's... Uh, it's already going to bleed out because the boar got a pretty good hit on it. Its movement's also reduced by... It should be 3.45. That should be lower than Olabar. See, Olabar movement speed. Yeah, Olabar could probably just outrun, uh, outrun the bear, like straight up. Um, yeah, we'll have we'll have Olabar do that after Lady gets the uh, boar back. It seems like a that seems like a good idea. All right, we're gonna go. This is a little a little foolhardy of me, even if the bear is already wounded. Uh, how, how did it affect its movement? It's a little slower now, so you might be able to get more than one shot off. And now we gotta run. Go. Go, all the bar. Go. Because it is. Now it's very pissed off, so we gotta get some distance. Admittedly, it's still bleeding out, so it's gonna progressively get a little slower. We can probably turn and shoot at it, though. And miss horribly. Let's get a get a bit of a straightaway and give it another shot. Okay. And this will probably solve our food problem for the foresee for the near future. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna bleed out very soon. Mighty almost just kill it. Let's get a little bit more space. Ooh, Olabar got a level one shooting. Nice. Kablam! Oh, there's a bunch more food for us. And that's also one less 
<coughs> predator on the map bothering the wildlife. We're pretty lucky that it, um, pretty lucky that the, uh, that boar that we brought, also brought inside, um, was able to deal some lucky damage to the, bo the bear, otherwise I would have not have gone for that, because we're using, like, bows and arrows, they're not especially threatening unless you get lucky. Okay, she's doing that. Uh, I might try to, I might have her just haul a bunch of rocks back, like me. That'll give her something to do. Other, other than cleaning, although cleaning is one of the, is, is an important thing, because you don't want mess everywhere. But yeah, just having her pick up rocks and bring them back. We'll let Olabar break some rocks. Olabar also brings some rocks back too. Okay, you're almost fixed up. Like, these, when they're orange, it's pretty close to being fixed. Yeah. They'll heal up. They should be pretty... Should be able to heal up fairly well. And hopefully, they'll be able to leave the map this time without getting fucking owned. <laughs> In the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> also known as buy animals. Yep, they're just dragging some rocks back. Okay, Lemur is awake. Wakey, wakey. Back to the research there. That's like her main... Uh, other than construction, that's her main thing is uh, research. Even though she doesn't have a, uh, a star in it, which means she learns at 100% normal speed. We kind of didn't have a choice. We needed someone to do it. And she's kind of been just doing it. Okay, let's get some more animals cut up. With Huntsman, once he wakes up, he'll probably... Eat his meal. Need warm clothes. Yeah, whatever. Kind of a little bit of a waste of nutrition because each meal I think gives uh like each of these meals gives ninety nutrition, which is like percentage wise of how much bar it fills up. So if you wait until your characters are uh, ten percent food, you can get the full value out of it. That's very min maxi, and you usually don't need to uh, go that far. <laughs> Only in cases where you're doing something like doing like a sea ice survival playthrough or something like that. Oh wow, that bear gave us a lot of food. Uh, let's see, we've got 264. We probably don't need to make all of those. Uh, we could though, because right now it's really cold. I don't know how long this cold snap been lasting. Uh, it's not been going that long, so it might last a bit longer. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just let Huntsman do all of them. Plus, as you can see, people are just kind of running in and grabbing food, too. I'm just watching the uh, cleanliness of this room very carefully. We shouldn't have any problems. Oh boy. Uh, there's the flu again. That's going to incapacitate. Um... <clears throat> well, unfortunately, that includes a lady as a surgeon, so that's going to make things a little more annoying. And flu can kill you, just like in real life. Frankly, if anyone's going to get the good medicine, it's probably going to be the surgeon, so that she heals maybe faster. So, let's, uh... Let's see, lit, 50%. Yeah, it's gonna be as good as we're gonna get, so I'm gonna have her move over here where it's nice and light. And, uh, 
self tend. Uh, let's have her self tend herself, cause it's still probably. I think my other person is Olabar with medicine, and he's not super good at it, cause she kind of just fell out of the sky with like eleven medical, and like eleven mining. I was like, and she kind of just fit with what we needed. So we're like, okay, cool. You're just like this space person living with a bunch of tribal folks. But you know what? Life finds a way. So, uh, yeah. She's gonna self tend herself with this good medicine. 92% quality. That's pretty good. And, um... For now, we're gonna take this bed back to normal. Um, actually, you, uh... You get to go in there first because you need to get tended. And you need to uh, tend to lemur. Seventy percent, that's not bad. Hopefully when they wake up they'll uh I mean it's Nah. I was gonna I was gonna set this as not like a... A medical bed so I could try to have it to where uh, they leave early but yeah that's fine oh I've just kind of been letting you go autopilot that's a little unsafe to do with person that's cooking because stuff could get dirty and cause problems oh uh. Okay, how's how's the disease progressing? You're you're a bit of ahead of, you're a bit ahead of it. I mean, she should probably be fine in her own room. These rooms are like mostly fine. Like they're not like super clean, but I could probably just kick him out of the bed here. I think he's going to leave. Yeah, he's, he's going to leave now. Good for you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> GTFO. We, we do need to... What? Zero chance. Gay and bisexual. Probably because she's already, like, in a relationship or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe because sick. Don't care. Not sure. But I was just like, huh. That's a, that's something you can just do when they're, like, in bed like that. That's kind of weird. Why would you do that? It's like, oh, you're, you're incapacitated. Let me try to flirt with you. Fucking weird. Wait, is we have food? Why wasn't it? Let, why isn't it letting us uh, do doctor? Lady's literally the doctor, set by the. Uh... Okay, there we go. She's gonna do it now. So yeah, you want your people as fully fed as possible. When they're trying to heal up because it boosts the immunity gain speed. Uh, let's look at our gains, our, our recovery speeds. Let's see. 5.2, 6.6. Hmm. What I can do with Olabar, though, is there's a, uh, a preach healing, uh, thing. To proves a uh, immunity gain, and we're gonna use that on a uh, lemur. And one of the one of the advantages of having a uh, one of your uh, cult <laughs> cult leaders, uh, or your ideology leaders, set. 
Olimar's strength and Lemur's health by preaching about reasons to live. Well, I mean, I've heard of much worse <laughs> ways of doing it. And for 24 hours, that gives a 25% uh, immunity gain speed, which probably help significantly. Oh, wow, yeah, that's pretty good. Either way, these two will probably live plenty fine. It's just really unfortunate, the timing. What are you... Uh, cloud watching, okay. Guess that makes sense. Uh, want to search the map to see if, if, if any heal roots survived the winter. Probably not, because it got pretty pretty damn cold. See, if you pick your... if Like, whenever you start the game, you can pick a certain map tile to start on, and depending on where you start depends on, like, the climate and, like, how, how long the growing season is. I usually prefer to play in a place that has, like, you know, winter as well as, like, summer and all that, so that there's, like, it's just more dynamic gameplay. It's not just, oh, it's summer all the time. So I can just grow food all the time, and there's like, oh, that seems a little boring to have to not have to worry. Then again, that's how you want to play, totally fine. It's just I personally like to have a little variety. Uh, Huntsman's doing that, what? Feeling torch lamp, that's fine. Well, we don't really need to go get any more animals or anything. We're kind of just in a spot where we have to let these two heal up. At least they can keep each other company. Sort of. Let's see, 10.7. Cold snap is over, well. Oh hey, the, the person finally exited the map, so our relationship with Veristan went from zero to 12. Nice. All right, enough of this hauling, well there's only like two more anyway. So after he hauls that and that, we're gonna have Olabar start planting. No, you need to start planting if you're not gonna haul like you're supposed to, little man, haul that, and then I'll have you, uh, I'll set these to allow sewing. And all, after all of our does that, he should probably jump right to that, as, based on how the priorities are set. Yeah, all of our is plant cut. I'm gonna set that to one, because we absolutely want him to be plant cutting whenever pot, oh, maybe it's grow. Yeah, it's grow. Grow. We'll change plant cut to t plant. Plant cut. That was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> um, stop. Why don't you? Oh, the temperature's still. What do you mean it's bad seasonal temp? It's seventeen degrees outside. That's like plenty warm, right? Hmm. Guess we're not planting stuff quite yet. Although it definitely should be warm enough. Alright. Gotta just constantly be checking on these two. So you have a, a pretty good uh, 10 quality, so we want to kind of keep that as high as possible. For as long as possible, so... Okay, that needs tending now, which means yours will need tending soon, too. Hmm. Alright, it's, it's light enough in here for it to be fine. Okay, she'll go get a meal, eat that. And tend to lemur. Gabbed about getting drunk. 69. 
back to back to rest. And Huntsman is uh, back up uh, intellect. He's not very good, but that's fine. Yeah, the temperature is still considered too bad, even though it's doesn't seem that cold. If you have more people to do the ritual with, that makes us more successful. We're not gonna worry about that right now, because people are asleep or busy. It must be warm enough now for him to sow the area, because, or at least some of the area. <laughs> uh, fine. Go to bed. He can just, he can just sow it when he gets up. Nice. Level up an intellectual. That'll increase the research speed. How's lady doing on recovery? Sick. Doll hospital. Um, do we have anything we could put in the hospital to make it a little less dull? Probably not. Health wise, 17 and 22. So yeah, got we're ahead of we're he, we're ahead, and you can see the effect here. She's ahead by like eight as opposed to like six or five in this case. So yeah, the preach health thing is pretty powerful. And it needs a. Uh, if if they're still sick in that time, I'll probably end up giving it to Lady just so that she can catch up and finish off healing. And we're gonna turn these two to uh, Doctor Carbonate Medicine for the for the duration of the um, the flu, unless it gets really bad and we need to, because we're running a little low on you know this. We have some money we could use to buy some if a trader comes by, but yeah, we, we've we gone through a fair bit. And any that we got was from the initial uh, seasons of Hewer growing around the map. Said a word about wearing jock straps. Sometimes you just gotta wear a jock strap, I guess. Oh yeah, that's a huge boost. 24% and then 36 cheese, yeah. <clears throat> like I think I'll still have Lady tend herself with the medical, with the medicine, but Yeah, she also needs to eat foods and tend to lemur and then feed lemur. Eh, 29% is not super great, but lemur has a bit of a head start anyway. Yeah, it's still increasing plenty fast, so yeah, I think without medicine, without any more medicine, they'll be safe. To not because once oh yeah it's time it's time to grow it's a very hungry uh, ibex just ate a berry bush it's kind of annoying but yeah we're planting rice here we got some here it's gonna go in there and then we got some cotton we're gonna grow so we can make some clothing oh 
Oh, wait, no, I think, uh, yeah, rice is here. It grows pretty fast, so we are gonna... Might also just plant, like, a big rice field out in the middle of the field here, because the rice here, the rice on this, uh, this, uh, dark tile, let me... Like, on this stuff that's, like, a lot, like high, very green, that's, uh, fertile soil. Which means it'll grow 40% faster, so... It just means even more rice and even less time. So, and the, the hero takes a lot more skill to plant, so it's a little slower to do. Uh, how many meals we still got? Ten? That's enough for at least another, like, two days. I might also make a plant zone over yon over here. Let me turn this back on so you can see exactly where. And this plant zone is gonna be for uh, corn. It takes a long time to grow, but you get a lot of stuff out of it. So I figure having a separate thing of it. Mm. Let's see, fertility sensitivity forty percent. Grow time, five days. Grow time, f four, eight. Yield, 11. Uh, Neutrofungus. It has to be dark for that, which is not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Mango tree, that's great, but no thanks. 18 days for 50. Okay. Yeah, and the corn here is, it says 11.3, but it usually takes like twice as off, twice that much, because the, the plants aren't, don't, you know, grow at night, so it's less time, but they have a high harvest yield, so it, it'll be worth it in the long run to plant some, some of that there. And he'll get to it. I say as he stops mid whatever. Hopefully we'll get back to it after Yeah, he's Yeah. He'll get back to it. Excuse me, Ibex Ram. Transport pod. A wasteland wanderer named Blackjack is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Blackjack is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue him and hope he joins freely or capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. Yeah, you can treat people pretty badly. Um, neo archism. What what you got? Slothful, a nudist. Oh, that's already a red flag. Kind and straight. Oh, that's another <laughs> red flag. Um, crafting though. Other than the nude, if if he wasn't a nudist, I would take him on immediately just because of the crafting, because that's a skill we don't really have yet. Like, Huntsman has five in crafting, but that's not great. And he doesn't have any passion in it, so he doesn't level up very fast. But you've got, like, a very big passion. You can also shoot. And you're also medical, too. Mm. I, w I really wish you weren't a nudist. So, yeah, we're going to probably just leave them there. Because, yeah, I... I don't want a nudist in my colony because it just makes it harder to keep them happy and if it's cold they have to wear coats and it makes them unhappy and Olabar you son of a bitch you are gonna sew every single spot on this before I let you do anything else you bastard he's like oh I'm gonna go sit and stare at the wall <laughs> Oh, it looks like they got up and are taking care of themselves anyway.
Okay, all the corn has been planted. I really wanted that to get planted so that it could get, get you know, get going. All right, sleepy time for Olabar. Uh, lady is just hanging out. You're still sick, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you are. Guess she's just bored. Oh, she must have just tended to herself. Uh, f let's feed and then uh, ten and then visit. Oh, sleeping. All right. Well, I should still let me look at your health here. There, forty, fifty-five. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just doing tending. With a uh, lady's skill, I think it's probably enough to just tend without medicine to get them through the rest of the flu. Granted, if we had better medicine and more medicine, I think it would go by a lot quicker. But you know, we don't. So. That meat's gonna expo expoil. Is that a word? No, it's probably not. Expoil, expire. It's gonna expire soon. So we're probably gonna need to kill some more animals, unfortunately. Oh, some of them have fled the map. We've got some torkeys. They either fled the map or they've just been killed by the, the, the predators. So our choices are a little bit more limited. Looks like you're gonna kill some Ibex Rams there, buddy, because if you if we don't, the predators will and um Hello rat. <laughs> I need to ha I needed to this to not leave the map. That would be great. Nice shot, like around the corner, too. Sorry, Ibex Rim. Just business. Alright, that should be a good amount. This lady... Go to fuck to sleep! He should go get the Ibex Ram. <laughs> Fucking person that's like, got the flu. Oh, hold on. Let me go grab this dead animal. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? There's blood everywhere. Oh, there's another one right there, too, if we need it, I guess. Yeah, I, I feel like doing this... Um, Doing this um, separation here thing has made it a lot safer to cook. <laughs> How long do these meals have left? 2.9 days? Okay, that's not bad. I might wait another day or two to, to butcher the animals. Uh, let's go to... Uh... Put 
all these on on four so that we can do basic stuff like feed people. Maybe. If they're maybe I think their food has to be low enough, like below thirty or something. I think Huntsman's just going for a walk. Talked quietly about the link between nightmares and honesty. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably a link there somewhere. It's not. It's bedtime for Huntsman because it is uh, Lemur's normal bedtime. No, no. Okay, maybe it's a bad idea having them do it. Because he was about to... I mean, Olibar's not bad medical, but... I definitely want a lady doing all this. Let's see. 10 quality is 39. Yeah, just do it now. Should be good enough. We're kind of stumble, or just kind of just trudging along through it, because well, there's not much we can do. We don't have much medicine. I want to save it in case we really need it. Oh, you're just kind of out here. Hoopstone, everyone's favorite. Once, uh, once he wakes up, we're gonna cut up one of the Ibexes. Oh no, four on meat. This wasn't bad. Unfortunate, but not ultimately much we can do about that. rat died somewhere. Oh, probably right here. You didn't, even, you didn't finish your rat, red fox. Yeah, if we can build stuff out of bone, we usually have that. We usually try to. Because look at all these bones we have from... The bones are a modded thing, but it makes sense to when you're butchering animals, you would get bones. <laughs> so, I, I like the mod. It's cool. Uh, and it gives us 90, so we're going to make 9 meals out of you. I don't know if there's any berries on the map that are available to pick yet. That would be worth a shit. Um... Hey, there's some berries at least. Might be enough to make. Where are you going? God, you have to babysit these these characters constantly. What are you doing up? <laughs> Eating food looks like. We need to be resting. Back to bed with you. You shithead. Oh, that got us 20 berries. That's uh, enough to make some, uh, make some fine meals. Which need, uh, they need partial meat, partial uh, veg vegetable or plant matter. So yeah, we can, uh, 
cook up some fine meals with the berries we were able to find. Prepping the D&D session for tomorrow memorizing NPC names and one of the gnomes is called Pog and now that's the only one I remember. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Oh, we have a we have a Twitch baby. What's it going to be named? Pog? <laughs> Fucking thank you so much for the resub. Fucking Pog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh no, Taurus One has returned to the wild. Anyway. We're gonna we're gonna keep these um seventy, so let's now we're gonna make us Thanks to those berries, we are going to stretch. We got a few more meals out of things. Ultimately, it, it equals the same amount of food, but fine meals are much nicer. They give you a mood boost. So I wanna, well, I'm going to want to make it to where everyone gets at least one, just for a nice little mood boost. Especially the two people that are uh, sick. I pro I'll probably manually make them get up and eat when the time comes to get their meals. They're nice meals, at least. Eventually, the idea is to have us surviving on nothing but fine meals. Because they're just, it's just a constant mood boost. But yeah. But I hope you're doing well today, Hug Dispenser. Thank you so much for the resub. Because there's just like a random, just like fragment of pemmican. Just eat that little piece of pemmican. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's what I get. I was like, oh, we're just gonna eat a little piece, just eat the little piece of pemmican, it's fine. Gets food poisoning immediately. Oh wait, we can make another uh, fine meal. I, I don't think I was doing math right. Depends on what the definition of well is. Um, That is that is a pretty open that is a pretty open to interpretation thing, yeah. Oh, well. Now we've just got like five meat laying around. Don't you just hate it when you have five meat laying around? <laughs> well, he's got food poison now from the little piece of sh garbage pemmican that I uh, just had. Where's Olivar? Okay, he's asleep. Uh, how are y'all's flu doing? Because last stream we had two people with the flu, and now the other two people have the flu. Because of fucking course. Oh, you're gonna your flu is out way outpacing it because of that um health thing. Well, we'll use preach health on um lady next just to I do feel like a stone pit with water. Get get the bucket, get with the bucket, get the water out. You're so full of fluids. Ooh woo. <laughs> Most human beings are full of fluids, so I guess that's a... What? You got blood, right? Oh. Lemur flagrantly insulted ladies' open-mindedness. Lemur's like, fuck you.
Yeah, you might have some oxygen in there. Sometimes you got oxygen. Uh, do you just have a fine... Uh, I'll, I'll let him get his uh, fine meal now because he's probably going to feel a little ucky. Because he's uh, got food poisoning. I don't think he got to finish his meal. He was like almost done, and then he threw up on the uh, he threw up on the bench on the stool next to him where his fiance is sitting. It's like sup, babe. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you just you just gotta hack up along <laughs> on a loved one. Caleb, our preach health to a lady here. Yeah, these two uh, got the flu like, at the same time because, of course, they did. And he's just got food poisoning because I made a, the grave error of trying to clean up my fridge and have him eat a piece of pemmican. And he's just like, mmm, munch. And then got food poisoning. Because of course he did. Uh... And all bars being a champion and just getting us tons of these blocks so we can build, build out of. At some point this is gonna move like up here. Like we'll probably have another like set of bedrooms on this side too with a hallway and have like our lab like over here and our little chapel will move as well like let me I might as well just plan it out now because we can do plans like one, two, three, four, five. so we could plan it out to where um, for now we kind of have this chapel right here just kind of in here because we needed somewhere we needed somewhere for it and that's kind of the best spot but we can go up here one two three four f one two three four five Okay, we can have that there, and then... One, two, three, four, five, wall there. Eventually, there's something you can build that like increases research speed that goes like right that could go like right here. So we're gonna that, and then eventually the upgraded bench is. I want to say it's um like like this, but like five wide, like instead of three. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five. We'll just do that. We'll make it the same size as the other rooms, because then we can have more. Uh, we can have more bedrooms up here when necessary. As this will probably end up building up like this, so we can have a lab here, and then we can make this area like a big chapel or something.
And perhaps we could have this be like a big rec room right here with like a pool table and stuff so that people can kind of run around and get their stuff, get their entertainment or whatever. Come in like through there. Yeah, this th we've got some organizing to do once we get a little further along with more stuff. So that's going to be the lab eventually. For now, we'll just kind of mark out stuff like this. We could, at some point, we could also make another layer of spikes as well. Maybe, because, mm, and we could, but we could still have like a little, we could have a little access door here so we could get in and around to put, replace the spikes. And then, like, yeah. If that makes any sense, like, they'd, they'd enter through here, step on some spikes, like, fools. And we basically replicate this down. And they'd, they'd walk, like, up through here, like this, to try to get us. And they'd be stepping on all kinds of just uncomfortable things. We have a door here, door here, so we can get in and out easily to fix things without stepping on them ourselves. I feel like that'd be pretty good. We could even, like, have, like, a little tunnel here with spots for us people to, like, pop out and shoot people with that from or something like that. We'll, we'll see. It's still very early days, but kind of a, a plan of what I want to do like have our chapel move up here maybe maybe a combination maybe you could have like part of it be a throne room or a chapel because a throne room is something we eventually might want it to and we might make it like part of this room and we'll figure it out but right now we're just kind of getting these two over the flu You are 88, and you're at like 97 almost. Once they hit that 100% immunity, they're free to just kind of go back to doing what they're doing because the flu will not. Once the, you develop the immunity, the flu will not progress any further. So Lemur can go back to doing research, which is important because we're researching one of the biggest researches in the game. Impact wise like electricity it opens all of this stuff like wind like lamps electric stoves electric smelters just Just lots of good stuff That we want access to but we can't currently think you're yep immunity. So now the flu will no, not develop any further Did you get a, a, a fine meal? Yeah, you did did you get a fine meal? Wait, you're an ascetic? Oh, huh. Kind of overlooked that. All right, cool. Um, I don't think he got a fine meal yet. All right, well, I think everyone else got got one. Let's just double check. I just want to be try to be fair to these people. Fine meal, fine meal. Yep, Olibar's the only one that didn't get one, so the other one's kind of free game, fair game, whatever. Whatever words are, I don't know, but they they sure could be. <laughs> and all of this building is gonna be possible because Olibar has just been smashing the fuck out of all these blocks in his downtime, because he grows, he planted all this stuff. That's his main mission in life, is to grow things. Take those back with you if you're gonna go inside there, Mr. Olabar. Medical emergency? I think it's because hers progressed a little further. 
Yeah, hers progressed to extreme. But generally it would be cause for alarm, but she's almost to the immunity. She'll be fine. A low medicine. Yep, we... we. The fear of construction, that sounds like a tribute thing. We're not worried about that. Yeah, she'll, she'll be fine. Once it ticks over to 100%. Yep, she's fine. <laughs> she's like, oh, not, I'm glad that's over with. What, 20 hours? We got to, uh... We're gonna cut up our lovely little friend here. Researching can wait a little bit. Ooh, the Aurora Borealis! Okay, we can go ahead and, uh... 65, 15, that's 80, so we can make sure we can make nine meals out of that one. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Ibex. <laughs> oh, they're going on a date. That's cute. They are engaged. <laughs> are they gonna get the the Aurora Borealis thing or did that already leave? Oh no, they get it. They get it. It's a pretty nice uh thing. Yep, they're just going on a nice little date. Good for them. Every, every I think literally everyone in my colony is just a little gay. Yeah, like Olabar, Olabar's gay, ladies gay, Huntsman and Lemur both bi. Love to see it. I didn't expressly do that, but it's just kind of nice it worked out that way. Unfortunately, that means Lady and Olabar will never hook up because, you know, they're both gay. <laughs> but so it goes. Low food. Who we else, what else we got on the map? Oh, we got some more... Ooh, grizzly bear. Oh, you... Um, we might try to take this grizzly bear out, especially since it's pretty close to the base. Right. For now, we're going to lock you in here. Lock you in your room. We're gonna lock you in here. Cause we're gonna have Olabar try to shoot this uh, bear and run back inside. Very carefully. Run, Olabar! Run! Ooh, we shot it in the heart. That's gotta su that's gotta suck. Oh yeah, it's gonna die in nine hours. We can just literally go back inside and let it bleed out. That was a really good shot. Yeah, Olabar can kind of just go up here, and this bear is gonna go through go through here. Okay, the bear's dead. We basically traded wood for food in this case. All right, it's safe now. Y'all can uh, stop being locked in your rooms. Uh, let's do some orders for uh, cutting wood. Because I don't think we have all that much wood. We have like 100 something wood, which is great, but each of these repairs is like 45. So it'd be nice to have some more. So let's just kind of highlight this area. Oh, we can also take this turkey back too that the bear killed and ate half of. <laughs> good job, Olabar. Good shot. Like, real good fucking shot. Shot it in the heart. It's impressive. It 
be a, it can be a lot of work. Um, oh, he's gonna hold the turkey. Nice. It can be a lot of work keeping uh, so many people fed, because you just gotta not only produce the food, but you gotta make sure that it's kept fresh and etc. Okay, Olabar is just dis destroying trees. And we're gonna try to stretch these two out as long as possible. We're not gonna butcher them immediately. She's just running around grabbing stuff and hauling stuff back. It's one of her other duties. The, the mule brana. Just a bunch of. I think they're also tribals. Tribal folks. Low technology and not super powerful weapons, but they usually have numbers on their side. Nope. And part of that wood that we're cutting is gonna keep these nice and repaired. Okay, we can... Plan a little bit more here. Let's build a copy door here, and we'll move this one here for the eventual plan that I have. We can do that after she eats some food. Okay, so we're gonna. Now I have a mod that lets me like basically reinstall almost anything anywhere and. I feel like that's fair since I, I, I spent the resources to make it. I should be able to move it wherever I want. You can do that with most other stuff anyway, so I don't really see why it shouldn't be something you can do. Otherwise, you have to, like, deconstruct walls to kind of more or less move them. Okay, so now we can start constructing this situation. We have a spike here and a spike here so that we can still kind of like get around. It's kind of like the, the the next level up of like the spike trap deal. Oh wait, we don't want one here because that's where they're gonna be coming into. Yeah, we're basically gonna have like this like access tunnel for us to easily kind of hop in and repair the spikes as necessary. But the enemies won't be able to get in here unless they break down a door. We're also going to put it in, like, another door here just in case we're running away from something and it happens to be chasing us. We might be able to get through and through this door and have it close. Just kind of redundancy of being trying to be safe. How, how much longer do these animals have? Two days? Okay.
the same tortoise we tamed previously. Well, it, we, it, it got self-tamed by like a random event that Randy decided to throw at us, and looks like the tortoise is our tortoise again. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. Lemur's just so good at building, she can just build flawlessly in like the dead of night. Lady, why are you... Why in the... Why in the hell did you think that was necessary? She was like walking over traps to clean blood. That sounds... That... <laughs> that... Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna re -allow making marble blocks to that Olimar... Ol Olimar? All a bar. <laughs> we'll um, work on these uh, other ones. Um, part of. I would really prefer if he dropped them on the floor, but he just doesn't seem to want to, even though that's what the bill says he's supposed to do. So I might have to kind of manually force him to do that by just reordering him to, uh... Well, now it seems like he wants to. I mean, that's cool. Eventually, we'll get the rocks out of our new uh, trap corridor. The important thing is making it to where you still have a clear path for them to go. Otherwise, they will uh, get a little unruly, and you don't want that. Because when they get a, when they get a little uh, when it gets a little hard for them to path to your characters, is when they start breaking shit that you don't want them to break. Oh, turtle. Or tortoise, rather. It's rude of me to say, call you a turtle. How much longer you have? 1.2 days. Rice is actually almost done. We'll probably be able to actually... Um... I could probably harvest this early. I could probably just harvest this early and replant so that we have some stuff and we can make some, we can make some uh, fine meals instead. Uh, we'll turn sewing off for now so that he doesn't like immediately just re sew. He seems real. He seemed really obsessed with m making blocks to the point where like he was just like ignoring what I was trying to tell him to do. You want to sew some, uh, fine, play hoop stone, whatever. <laughs> Trying to get him to replant that stuff now. But he's adamant about, um, we're going to quickly uh, finagle with the sleep stuff for Olabar. To not be sleepy time yet. 
so that I can get him to, to do this sewing. And then I'll send him to bed. Or he'll just kind of go to bed whenever. And we'll just have to force him to plant, to plant stuff anyway. All right, cool. Now I'll change the schedule back. All right, sleepy time. And they're researching and you're still probably healing from your, oh, your flu is just gone. Okay, good. 20 hours. Yeah, we're gonna, jerky beak. Is that still a bite? I don't know if that, I don't know if I'd call that a bite still, but. Hmm. Yeah, we've got 146 rice out of this small plot of land here. And we'll be able to mush that together with some of the, the meat here to, um, well, we can make some pemmican out of it. Just to have this like backup food. Like, I'm going to make a bone shelf spe specifically for pemmican. In parts that will be off the floor. Okay. Clear all. And pemmican is the only thing that's allowed to go on here. Uh, we'll change this one's priority a little bit. I don't want you to eat the pemmican, lady. I understand you're hungry. We'll get we'll we'll take care of you, I promise. Anyone else have a meal? Nope. Well, looks like a Huntsman, it's time to cook. <laughs> time to butcher, rather. These animals are 18 hours and the body goes bad, so we're gonna butcher them to get a good use out of it anyway. Well, let's go ahead and we, we can make. Just, just as. Just make a bunch of simple meals. Uh, we'll make like 10 of them. Because we're going to start to build a surplus of stuff for the winter. I don't want to use it all up immediately. That seems a little foolish. But I also didn't want these animals to go to waste. So it's kind of a. A delicate balance of not fucking up shit. Okay, and we'll have you. Hold your horses. Hold your proverbial horses, lady. See, now you get to eat something nicer. Isn't that great?
Yeah, that's the main thing. The main draw of stuff like rice is it has a much longer shelf life than the meat does. By a significant factor. Of course, you could, there's there's a there's a, there's a one way to get like ultimate nutrition out of stuff, but it's not very humane. You basically make kibble out of like plant material and meat. And then you can feed that to animals or people. <laughs> they they will not they will not appreciate having to eat kibble like a dog. <laughs> Meat has a longer shelf life if you're brave enough. That's true. It's like oh this is looking a little green. I, if it's green, it's good for me, right? <laughs> That's exactly what it means. Totally. Let's see. Oh yeah, the research is going up by a decent bit. We'll wait till it's the meat's closer to its ex expiration, and then we'll make some more meals. Cause once once we can get um once we can get electricity, all our um we can make have a faster way to cook. We can make lights, just all sorts of wonderful things. We can have like electric heaters. We can have coolers so we have like frozen food. As long as there's power, of course. Our, li our limiting factor right now is that we have two people researching well, they're also um, doing something else right now. Let's not look over there. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's showing anything, but let's, let's just give them a little bit of privacy. Okay, they're, they're done. <laughs> yeah, our main our main sticking point right now is we're having to research electricity. But the only people I have that can re that are really good at, decent at researching are not very passionate about it, so they don't get, gain as much skill as fast. So, what are you grabbing? Where are you grabbing it from? I have a feeling I know why why they're just kind of range unlimited. That's probably why. Um, There we go. Now they're not going to just go halfway across the map to grab. Well, dang, you done finished up them meals, huh? Well, I guess we're gonna cook some more. Uh, we can make a lot of fine meals, so we might as well just use it. We're gonna get more plants, especially when the corn here is done growing. That's gonna be a lot of food. It's kind of like our contingency plan. You just plant a bunch of this stuff and just let it grow on its own for the long haul since we have with the the means to kind of just do one of these shelves is, is able to hold uh like 60, uh, like is able to hold three stacks. Like, like each sh shelf piece can hold three stacks of something. Like if you look over here, we got like tons of steel. So we can fit a lot of stuff in a small place. So we're gonna, pro we might re, uh, we might uh, end up moving um, this over. And having it for raw food 
instead. Own shelf. Clear all, and it's gonna be raw food only. And this is only for meals, but for now, we're not going to get remotely close to how many meals this can hold, so we only really need one. Anywho, let's let's get to, to fine mealing. Fine dining. It's dirty in here. Somewhere. Somewhere there is dirt in this room. It's probably this tile, too. The way I know that is it now says clean instead of sterile. So I'm trying to get the dirt particle to show up. Uh, let me... It's here, but there's like not enough dirt, I guess, on the tile for it to count yet. Which is a weird concept. And I, but I don't want him to cook anything until that... Oh, it's because he's not, he can't, he's not assigned to cleaning, no shit, right? Uh, in that case, clean four. That way he can fucking clean up after himself. There we go. Now it's sterile again. And he's just gonna blat. Is just gonna blitz out a bunch of food. Ooh, he's about to hit uh, ten cooking. How much more long? How much longer does this have? Eh. Honestly, with how fast we're going through this stuff, I'm probably just gonna. Make the rest of the stuff into meals. We can have like uh, nine more fine meals. I might as well just make them now because we eat like eight of them a day. Because <laughs> they need two meals a day, roughly, give or take. And cooking. I don't think his food. I don't think his food poisoning chance can go any lower than it is. But okay, and how much that leaves? Five ingredients there, so eight. So now we can do eight simple meals with the rest of the stuff. Before the meat goes bad. Because we can use that meat and make it into simple meals that last like for four days instead of like 23 more hours, so. He's making those really fast. Alright, now all those animals have been processed to the best of my ability, really. They have so many bones. This hallway is likely going to stay in the position it is. Same with uh, this one. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I might move this hallway down to here going forward once we get more stuff. So I could just I could just go ahead and move this down here, but for now it's more beneficial to have everything close together. Inspired creativity, lemur. Well, her creativity is pretty much zero anyway, but uh, is that like uh, item, art, or furniture? Ooh, furniture, you say? I might want to have her make a bed. Out of like, we're making a lot of stuff out of bones. It's it's not creepy. Don't worry about it. Um. So yeah, we're, we might have to have her make a. Uh, I could have her make a double bed to possibly give her and uh, Huntsman like the best sleep they've ever had in their fucking lives. Or I could try to make a single bed, so that we have a really good hospital bed. Because the higher quality the bed, the better, you, faster you get. Like, like this one's good. If we look at the information, the uh, the immunity gain factor is 103%, and the rest of thickness is 105%. But if you get this one, the the I mean, I don't know if the immunity gain factor is affected. So surgery percent chance is 98. Surgery of chance does go up though. I might end up just making a a double bed. Yeah, we'll make a double bed cuz that well, that might make it to where we get a really nice bed for them. Which means they will both sleep for lo they'll sleep less time cuz they'll get their rest back faster. It's It's very good. All right, so let's get a nice bone double bed. We can also start putting together like dressers and stuff also made out of bones because I could use wood, but I'm using that for other stuff, but there's not as much stuff you can use with bones, so yeah, we'll use bones. So let's get nice, let's go outside for it, because it'll be nice and bright. Because if you're outside, it's uh, brightly lit, instead of like 50%, so it, I think that has, a fit, has an effect. <laughs> there's so many little factors. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try to have her do this now. A masterwork double bed with art on it. Oh boy. Art. <laughs> the art in this game is also just randomly generated text that's awful. That's often a little weird. Trunk. This furniture is engraved with the representation of a Fletcher looking dead playing cards with four trouts. The work has a purest feeling and a well balanced structure. Uh, beauty. Ten. Let's compare this to the other bed. Like, all the. Let's compare to stats at least. Uh, rest of 125% faster rest recover. This one also has art on it. The furniture is engraved with a portrayal of Olabar Chibo waiting in a chair, gently massaging his wrists. Eight cowboys are slumped in defeat. <laughs> the work is executed in a heartfelt style. Strikingly, scene takes place inside a campsite built near a cove. This representation refers to Olabar relaxing at a game of Urboard on 6th of December, 5500. <laughs> but yeah, let's look at this actual stats. Um, that's like 11% faster s sleep speed. Frankly, I could probably just give this double bed to someone else, like Olabar or Lady. I'd be more willing, I'd be more tempted to give it to Olabar. Since he's like planting and all this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna. Deconstruct this.
we're gonna reinstall this here for Olabar after she eats her food. Uh, this needs to be a uh, lemur and huntsman. This one goes in their room. She's like about to climb into bed like, oh wait, that's not my bed anymore. She's got a different bed with art. <laughs> okay, Olabar can have this one. It'll just be a slightly nicer bed for him. Hey, when you get the, when you get a, what are you do? He's like wandering around the traps. Why do they do this? That bo that annoys me to no end. Nope, oh, he's just sleeping on the floor. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, the, pro the problem I have with these two is, well, he, uh, that's, that's uh, Huntsman. I was going to look at Olabar. Um, his intellectual is bad. And Lady can't even do intellectual stuff just because, like, something of her, like, backstory, so. Um... If Olabar's doing literally nothing, we can at least have him, like, research, maybe. And then once I see the, that the other two are awake, we can have him do something else. doing that because I'm gonna move this hallway over here once we get um this situation figured out I might I might go ahead and just start building the room up here I'll give Lady and Olabar something to do with their time is just like fill up all those blueprint spots with the bricks until Lemur wakes up. A mad hare. Well, it looks like we better get back inside. I don't want to deal with that. Like, you're like, oh, it's just a hair. But yeah, like, getting scratched at in any way is just usually not very wise. You usually want to avoid um, getting hurt, if possible, because any wound can be infected. And that, that'd that be, that's like, the worst way to go down is by some, like, something, some sort of wound you could have avoided. All right, let's, let's see how they path. They should go up in here and around. Well, that was uneventful. Well, it's not uh it's not mad anymore. It's bleeding out. Body stab, body stab, body stab, tail cut off. Lung stab, lung stab, kidney stab. 
Yeah, these traps do not fuck around. All right, good job, everybody. <laughs> good talk. This rabbit is just going to die of shock. It's just like, ah, oh, fuck. Transport pod crash. A gardener named French is landing. Oh, hello. Let's see what you're about. Hello. Hello, French. Um, jealous, fast walker, body modder, bisexual. Extremely good at fighting, but that's about it. Um, cooking plants. Oh, her genetics are, um, dictate that she's bad with plants, even though sh her skills <laughs> dictate she's good with plants. Her learn level's 13, but her plant, her, her genetics say you're bad at plants, so it's minus eight. <laughs> um, if she had crafting, I might be able to overlook this stuff, but she doesn't. What gear do you have? Uh, we're gonna be a little sneaky here. Huntsman, you're the closest. Let's go have you rescue this lady. And then we're going to take her clothes and then she's going to go to Splash Mountain. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not very nice of me to do that either. I'm not like taking her organs or anything, but you know. I'm taking her clothes and then throwing her into a watery grave. Oh, ancient danger, huh? Oh, well, it's not open, so we're not really that concerned. Summer has begun. Actually, we're gonna just like. Ooh, cool looking tattoos. Feeling indifferent? Well, that's. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. So her her relig her ideology is um racist to herself. Uh, well, well, you're not gonna have to worry about either of those for very long. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> just not. She's not even. Her, her body's not even cold yet. We're just like running next to her, taking all of her stuff. <laughs> this is a yoink. French has died. Do we get any, like... Ah, just because we have to see a body. A Zerd corpse. I saw a dead body lying on the ground. It was disturbing. Alright, Huntsman. How about you take our friend to Splash Mountain? Looks like, looks like he's already on the case. <laughs> Okay, um, well, shouldn't have fell out of the sky, I guess. Sucks. Skill issue. <laughs> <coughs> uh, let's see. Olabar, you have, um, 
Let's reassure. Increases someone's certainty in their own beliefs. Their gain certainty is based on the speaker's negotiation. Counsel. For counsel to remember to the person to cancel the effect of a sad memory. The chance of success depends on the social speak skills in a relationship. Uh, I mean, I think they're I think these two are fine. Olabar botched the attempt to counsel Huntsman. Huntsman has become upset. Great, that's exactly what I needed. Okay, it's some now that attempt at helping made things even worse. Yeah, that's the problem with Olabar being the uh, spiritual leader person or whatever. Is his social is bad, but we didn't have much of a choice of the matter of making it him that at the time. So we're kind of just. How long are these meals lasting for? Another 2.8 days? Alright, that's fine. Once this cotton is, uh, is grown, uh, we're gonna probably switch this over to rice, because that'd be enough cotton to do something with this season. And then we can have more rice, and yada yada yada. Food. Food is good to have plenty of. Usually. Okay, that's all built now, so we could start moving uh, stuff over. You're not the person I was expecting to be doing that, but Every, everyone gets to help, <laughs> apparently. Right, build a roof. We gotta redo this stuff. Okay. Oh, they decided to just go on a date while I was trying to have him have Lemur build, build something. Perfect timing. Enjoy your date, weirdos. Excuse me, isn't this like... reach level two intellectual good job buddy how about we go ahead and move all this where it's gonna go because this is gonna be very likely the final location of the uh, research area the configuration of the room might change
we're gonna turn this into a very like one extended like like one big extended like um one extended like rec room like pool tables and stuff like that and like a party spot marriage spot etc and this is gonna become this is gonna become the uh the throne room in here eventually i don't know if we have any empire stuff yet oh how much oh that's still fine Yeah, so far so good. Things are going well. Lady's just got nothing to do. <laughs> we could have her mine some stuff. Like we could get her have her get more steel, but we've got so much already, but you once you start needing it, you, you go through a lot of it. Uh it's a rat. Some components. How about you mine these? That'll give you something to do. Because we are going to need components for making machinery and stuff later. We already have some, but again, components are something you can almost never have too many of. Because they are absolutely essential for making and maintaining equipment. Huntsman, buddy. No. Oh, you ate without a table, you fool. You fool! Can't we get a table around here? You have a table at home, you asshole. Go. Go away. Go back. Oh, well, he's not really the main miner anymore, so I'm going to probably take him off of it. Uh, mine. Yeah, like he's got he's got good skills in it because I dis I specifically chose it to where he would have mining, but then she dropped out of the sky with mining, uh, with mining freaking <laughs> medical, artistic, and social. So she's kind of a very good fit. Where are you going? Relaxing socially. I bet you take that back first weirdo <laughs> oh she's just she's going to town mm. quest expired the rescue of toast toast signal has been lost and she can no longer be rescued all right bye Fifteen construction. The only real benefit of getting higher construction for her now is that she just does it faster. Mm. Lemur now has a shooting frenzy. Good for you. Huntsman's level five intellect. That's good. I want Olimar to extract these trees because then we can just plant them elsewhere. Well, at least it's raining, so we don't have to worry about fires because.
All right, let's remove the planning we've already done that's, that's, you know, not needed anymore, like that and like that. All right, and um, we can replant this just, I don't know, out in the field somewhere and have those grow to full-grown trees instead of be, like, cut down for no benefit. Let's get these block, these little uh, uh, chunks out of here too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's make some... Once Lemur wakes up, I'll have her, her work on getting some other stuff for them made. Because these little uh, end tables will increase the comfort level of the bed. Even though this bed's probably very comfortable. Yeah, the quality modifier makes it 45% more comfortable. Characters have a need for comfort. Which is very high, which will um, give them a, a mood boost. This colony's starting to shape up pretty nicely, I would say. Haven't had a raid in a while. Elbar is just helping the, the research little by little. And Lemur is creating these. Okay, and then we can make a bone, some bone dressers. You get a dresser. You get a dresser. You get a dresser. These also make their bedrooms nicer. Uh, like, the mediocre is... That's uh, still somewhat poor. Probably it's... That's uh, a normal, normal quality, okay. Eh, it's fine. Okay. 
We might still end up keeping this as, like, some sort of, like, dining room area, but, yeah. Let me see. Do that. We could have some long tables for, for sitting instead, maybe, or something. Party spot. Hmm. We could always just make this one really big room, like from here even, and you can like walk right in and go through from the hall. Yeah, I think we'll do that instead, actually. We'll still move. Hmm. Actually, no. We'll keep those where they are. It's a bit of an unorthodox room, but that's fine. I have to move these stools out of the way. We'll end up moving mo most of the stuff. Well, that's two more two more meals. Just to keep the stocks up. Let's look at uh, wildlife, see what we got. Oh, a warg, how hurt are you? Old gunshot make you a little slower and your left ear is burnt. Hmm. Hey, you're still way too fast though, so we're not gonna bother you. As much as I would like the warg to be off the map, Paris Sir. Sir Paraceratherium. That's a fucking word. It's a rotten guinea pig over here. Long extinct giant mammals brought back to life as part of the megafauna project. The largest land animal known to man. Paraceratherium is a gentle creature. However, its size alone can make it quite a formidable foe. Feeds on plants and trees, which can easily reach with its extraordinarily long neck. The trick that makes it neat to other g genre, genera of rhinoceroses. That's a... I would have assumed a giraffe, not a rhino, but hey. What are... Oh. Sm oh god, smiled on. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Don't want to fuck with that. <laughs> A lot of interest. We got a lot of biodiversity here. Um, well, you do have a shooting frenzy. It would be a shame not to use it. Quickly, while they're asleep, shoot him with a shotgun. Like it's a Rage Against the Machine song. Shoot the donkey with the shotgun. Don't re don't leave. Damn it, you left. Well, at least those two got flushed out. I was worried that that was gonna happen, but there's not much you can really do about it. However, this one... Just like fell back. You are so trusting, little donkey. I'll blast your ass with shotgun shells. Ooh, gotcha. He's probably researching, yeah. Good. We are inching closer and closer to being done with this research. It takes so long, because neither of my people have a passion in it, so their skill ups are, uh... What? What? 
Did she just like drop a fine meal over out here in the middle of the field? The fuck is wrong with you, lemur? <laughs> what a weirdo. Lemur leech reached level eight. Nice. Research speed 100%. Research speed 60. Yeah, she researches quite a bit faster. Yeah, her getting that skill up is going to make this go quicker as well. So, yeah. Yeah, Pemmican has a very long shelf life. We're basically kind of using it right now as like emergency backup food. Speaking of emergency backup food, the rice is almost done. I wanted to hold off on the rice until um, it was grown. I might, might try to grab some berries instead with Olabar. I'll give him something to do. What are you doing? I mean, your plants isn't bad, but I definitely uh, don't want you doing plant stuff. Like, unless it really comes to it, because she can uh, end up botching. Let's see if we can find any more berry bushes. That have just been kind of growing without our, uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. A ritual opportunity is coming soon for following rituals for a Bren's advent. Oh. There's literally no reason why you shouldn't just haul all those at the same time. Don't be weird. Uh, we can try it with uh, Olabar here since he has the highest plants and he'll have to like tend to the tree. Tree connection ritual has begun and has been completed. Olabar has connected with the, the Garanlin tree. The Garanlin tree will produce the small animals called dryads by growing them in pods at its base. These dryads can specialize in different casts. You can choose which cast of dryads you want the tree to produce. The stronger the connection between tree and human, the more dryads a, gar a garanlin tree can sustain. Olivar can strengthen the connection by pruning the tree. Maintaining a higher pruning strength requires more frequent pruning. <clears throat> We'll do that. Well, we'll do a little higher than that. Uh, dryad casks. What is what's this one? Need need. You have to have a tree connection meme specifically. Oh, that lets you um. That lets you um. 
make more trees or make more things yourself, but you have to have a specific uh, meme for your uh, ideology, it looks like. Claw are here. Is a fighter. Bark skin is a, def a tank. Woodmaker makes wood. We're probably gonna do medicine maker. Okay, now Alabar has something to do. He's trimming the he's trimming the tree. We'll get all the trees in the area away from it. Just to, I don't know. You'll have no you'll have no trees before me. tribute collector from the Broken Empire is approaching. Oh yeah, these guys are like space Romans. <laughs> okay, this should be waking up pretty slight. Literally right as I was, I was like, oh, they're actually waking up pretty soon, like, wakes up immediately. like at least 10 of these uh, fine meals because of the amount of berries we have. Lemur, I, I know I want you to research, but I also need you to do this real quick. Cause I gotta like gotta like move stuff. Does this table make this better or something? It's got green like link, so I don't, I don't, under, I don't know. I don't, I don't really understand fully what's going on here. Okay, 
And this can kind of move over here. Lemur is gonna just have to be a busy, a, a busy, a busy critter today. The busiest of critters. Fine, take the goddamn fine meal. You're gonna try doing it anyway. Might as well not stop you. I'm gonna leave this room as is because that's gonna be a drink. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> that's okay. We are pressing onward, re readjusting things in the base. What are you? Twenty tabs up for D and D prep and finish. So I just want to close everything. Yep, it's like, uh oh, why is it so quiet? <laughs> Sometimes it gets real quiet. Of course. Let's, uh, we'll move this against the wall. Like, let's move this right here and we'll move that right there. I'd rather have Huntsman do this because uh, Lemur's the better researcher. Uh, we're gonna just go to, we're gonna go down to six because we don't even have that many people anyway so let's uh decon move this one out of the way we have an excellent stool <laughs> hello Neki welcome back we are playing Rimworld now. Also, just trying to keep our our fridge full of food because our little people need to eat to survive, you know. Oh, 
Um, I might need, I might be able to find some more uh, berries. Actually, no, we got rice coming in, so we can we can have all of our harvest that later, and we can make some more food. Oh, Jesus Christ! These people visiting are like, oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna eat at your your table here. <laughs> I just saw just like, vroom. <laughs> they just flew right in here. We're gonna turn this big stretch here into like a really mass, just like a massive rec room. We could probably move this. We're gonna exp expand our uh, little storeroom place out as well, too. Looks like Gullibar is growing some more, some more rice. Okay, so let's... move this just kind of over here out of the way a rainy thunderstorm okay this can move as well and then this wall mm. I might end up having to move my I was, I was planning on having this as like a little power room but I might need to uh, adjust that plan a little bit. I mean, I could just keep it like the storeroom like this. It doesn't have to be a perfect square. This just gives me more room to do stuff with like shelves. Or just to have more spaces. Yeah, that needs to move, and that needs to also move. And they'll should just, they should just end up. Old bars reached twelve in plants. Good job, bud. Dryads are cocooning. They're gonna turn into little dryads that make medicine for us, which is a bit more useful than them just wandering around doing nothing. I mean, it's fine that they were just, you know, doing nothing, but if I can have them do something for me, that's better, you know? How much, how much longer is this food gonna last? Three days. Got a good amount of rice now. We're probably gonna make another shelf. Like here. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're moving our, our little church up here and we'll, we'll make it nicer too. And we can build another, uh, another pew. Oh wow, I can have four pews. <clears throat> Fire. Thankfully it's raining, so it should be fine, but they're gonna put it out anyway.
Uh, we're gonna reuse these walls that I'm not using anymore to um, These are eventually gonna be uh, bedrooms or maybe this maybe eventually this will I should probably make this just a hospital and then I can have more bedrooms over here as we get more people. I like how this glow root glows. I think that's a mod, but it's cool. I like it. Am I gonna have to build a little, specifically a little table so that dipshit here doesn't eat on a table whenever he's working on this plant here? I have a feeling the answer is probably going to be, yeah, I probably should do that, because otherwise he's going to just eat without a table and make himself upset like an idiot. <laughs> so we'll, like, mine out a little room right here. Leave my corn alone, fire. There's a turkey sleeping in my fields here. Turkey. Um, before that spreads to my tree here, we're gonna... Um, we'll just do that. Are you serious, game? It's like one square outside of the zone. Put the fire out. Jesus. Alright, sleepy time. That's unfortunate. Research is getting close to being done, and then we'll be able to start doing stuff with uh, electricity. Which will help us make our lives a little better. Yeah, I have a feeling I should probably just move, change my idea of this little room here. We can have this room here, but it can be for, like, disposing of corpses or something. Because, yeah, I need to, uh... I'll probably have just power out here somewhere. I will likely end up replacing these fences with, like, wall. And have, like, an area here with, like... Just stuff. We can end up having machining stuff here... Uh, yeah, let's haul all these rocks, get them out of the way. In case there's some, in case, like, someone's, like, out of stuff to do. She will be soon. We're gonna make like the most bare bones little table and chair in here for Olabar to rest, to hang out at, or to eat his food at, because he'll just carry food with him, and then he'll be like, "Oh, it's a, I'm hungry," and then he'll just like sit on the ground and eat his food, and then be upset because he sat on the ground and ate his food. <laughs> like it's it's a little silly, uh, one by one table. Gotta love mods for adding stuff like that, because in vanilla, I don't think there's a one-by-one -one table. Eh, 
There we go. Olbar's got a nice little sitting room now. Don't care, and don't care. They already left anyway. Um... He's just out here trimming the tree. This will also help grind his plant skill up even higher than it already is. Okay, that's starting to get a little closer to my base. It's just spreading across the map. Um... explains why everyone's like really hungry is because their food ran out and I didn't notice uh, whoopsie let's have them put out the fires real quick Oh, he's starving. Jeez. Sorry, bud. Didn't realize you were that, you were that like, far gone. Um... Alright, Huntsman, you're up. Oh, did the meat all just go bad? Shit. Well, I guess. Guess we're doing uh, <laughs> some simple meals. We'll have to go hunting in the morning or something. We just gotta get some meals out here so that people can eat. They're not going to be very happy otherwise. His mood should already be kind of recovering. Yeah, it is. Did everyone get to eat some food? Apparently, Lemur did not because somebody just snagged the other meal like a fucking asshole. Her own fiance is just like, you know what? This is mine. I'm going to. It's like, this is mine, right? Totally. Fucker.
Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I mean, I think this little room here is eventually going to be like a crematorium or something so that we don't have to take them to Splash Mountain anymore because they're dead, I promise, even though they're just staring with one eye. <laughs> That's where the bodies get to go for now so I don't have to bury them because eventually you uh, run out of places to bury people. Like, there's someone in there right now. I should probably uh, just throw them in Splash Mountain. But, eh, I don't know. Chatted about friendly blacksmiths. Fantastic. Every year on 6th of Juggest, Holiest can have a special celebration. During the ritual, select one of the following and click the Bourbon's Advent command. A lit campfire or a ritual spot? Before we do that, though, let's make that room in there a little nicer. With, uh, some... Some, uh, some sandstone, some tiles, some marble tiles, rather. Like, we don't, we don't have to immediately do the thing, like, right this second. And Huntsman or whoever, what is this? You're just a sleeping turtle. That's just where a tortoise, tortoise sleeps. The tortoise. I can't speak. Why would I be able to speak? Let's look at wildlife. Let's see what what can we expect to. Uh... Well, there's not that many alpacas left. Mm, that's annoying. What's is there anything really close? Of course, the cougar is. Uh, the alpacas are. The cougar is. Some. These critters are. Yeah, these, these critters have uh, poisonous, like, sacks of volatile chemicals on them. If you can tame, if you can tame uh, boomalopes, you can, you can milk them for chem fuel, which can be used to power generators. <laughs> but we're not going to bother them right now. Uh, we're, uh, that's a, I think you can also do the same thing with boom rats. Uh, maybe not boom rats. I think they're a little too small for that. Uh, what are you? A guinea pig? There's a donkey. Okay. Donkey! Donkey to the rescue. Damn, Huntsman. He did not waste any fucking time. Okay, let's... Add that. Back to you. Actually, no, we need to tell him to to now butcher. We'll drag that back, and then we're going to immediately start making some food. Like that. Okay, we're going to turn sewing for that off, and sewing for this off because these take a while to grow and we're not going to grow more cotton in here so I don't want to have them sew shit that we're not going to actually let grow fully anyway alright 
Now we can get some fine meals made. Olabar, what are you doing? Why are you in such a bad mood? Oh, your expect your expectations are uh Oh yeah, he has a high he has a different expectation level because he's like a he's like a leader or whatever. So it's harder to keep him in a better mood. Um Did he like a it doesn't look like he ate a, um, he might not have eaten a fine meal somehow. I don't know. He should have a mood thing from it. Uh, how about we just turn you from doing that and you do stuff you want, like, um, uh, like pruning the tree. Cause doing, having a passion for his work lets him uh, have a higher mood. It's also pretty, so he'll like that too. Well, it's time to, to grab some cotton. Well, I think because of his skill, it gets a little bit more than normal. Cause I think normally you get like 10 from these, but I think since his skill is high, he gets a, a slight yield boost. Go on there, prune it. Like a quarter of his day to maintain this strength. That it's gonna be at is gonna be six hours a day of pruning to keep it at the strength that'll let us have three of these little things because the tree is currently spawning a new one and those will all be hopefully medicine makers which will help us you know get medicine more easily and this is all built now uh, let's see, ideology. Hmm. Perhaps it should make room for one of these kind of things. Hmm. We 
could have a lady make start making a sculpture actually, because she's artistic. This is gonna become a hospital. I might extend this out to be another set of bedrooms here with a hallway. And we could have a power room here for like batteries and such, and then have our like wind turbines, etc., out here. And this could be just like a big like storage room for like bricks and stuff, along with um being like in the animal barn maybe I don't know <gasps> we we finally got it fucking electricity all right what, what what's next probably air conditioning because that let's make a freezer but, uh, we'll we'll start slow. Let's get up. Let's get batteries. <laughs> oh, they're getting. They're just getting married now. I just. I wasn't sure if I had to decide that or if like they were gonna just do that. <laughs> All of our just like I'm fucking asleep. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. Lady joked about beards. <laughs> Lemur and Huntsman are beginning their marriage ceremony. Good for y'all. Two bisexuals in love. Lemur and Huntsman are married. Carrot Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. Well, at least most of them are. All of ours asleep. <laughs> this big ass bed. They could have probably picked a better, a prettier place to do it, but you know. Matt Wedge. Why is... Why is go... Uh, I forgot to set this shelf's... Uh, I just want to be important so that that ingredients go there first when possible. Don't you fucking dare. I'm going to wait until this harvest and then we're gonna link these together. Um, select rice for both of these. And sowing is off, so once that's harvested, we'll just select them both. I still want them to be separate growing spots in case I change my mind about what's going there. What is Huntsman doing? Oh, he must have woke. Yeah, he just woke up, it looks like. He 
He's not a night owl, so he's not affected if he wakes up a little early. Point six days and we'll have medicine makers which will help us get more medicine for this next upcoming uh, season lemur has returned okay this meat's gonna go off in 12 hours so we need to just make food out of it immediately That being the case, let's see if I can find some a berry bush or two around here for Olabar to get us some more food with. Uh, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for 11 more fine meals. Yeah, these shelves are awesome. They hold so much stuff. Alright, nice. And soon, like next, like, probably two or three days, we'll have more rice. I wasn't sure if that was a rock or a corpse. <laughs> It's a fun new game show. Rock or corpse? <laughs> yeah, these shelves are really good for, like just storage because it takes up two spots but it can hold six items and we can it also let's just use up some of our bones <laughs> so yeah we're gonna have these shelves over here be for uh, rocks once lemurs uh oh uh oh we got a raid how many we got how many people too. Ooh, you got a. Ooh, you look kind of fucking sick. You too. Oh, uh, we got two archers. Nine shooting, uh, twelve shooting. They're gonna prepare for a little while, so we're gonna see if I can sneak in and make some, like, a few more traps. With lemur. All right. Now we're gonna reinstall this inside the house for now to prevent it from not getting damaged. Oh, we're out of wood. Well. Guess, guess that's going to be the amount of traps we have. The Trumpet of War, yep. They should, they should come to our location. Dude. <laughs> that, that was previously the Trumpet of War when we were playing Sevtech and just fighting critters. The damn trumpet skeletons. I'm afraid they're going to do something to this tree here, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know what they're... Okay, they're beginning their assault. Let's see what they do. Got it. 
Oh, you piece of shit. Where are you going? Well, that's not good. They're lighting my stuff on fire. Get him. Shoot him. Oh, fuck you. You lit my shit on fire. That's what you get. Oh. Get him! Actually, now, be, be, stop the fire first. This guy's gonna be a fool and go... Ow! Motherfucker. Okay, he, he's going to the he's going down the death tunnel now like a fool, so... Uh, let's put out the fires. Let's put out all the fires, please. Not just, like, one. How bad did you get hurt? Uh, it's not too bad. Ooh, get fucked. Alright. What, what are your... What do you got? Fish... A straight fisherman? Hmm. It's a little sus. Fire... Oh! Are you an impid? Uh... You are an impid. Hmm... If you had crafting, I'd probably take you on, even though you're straight. <laughs> Dude! Oh, no. Gabba! <laughs> you're gonna just bleed out, because I can't be bothered dealing with you right now. You, you lit my, my hay grass on fire. Um... You're gonna use medicine now because I have medicine. Go in here and patch yourself up with some medicine, weirdo. <laughs> Immediately taking them to Splash Mountain, as you do. Just drop the just drop that one off. Just drop it there. We just got, they just, we just had a marriage too, like, what a way to waste our time. Alright, I need to set the, this to, it's gonna only be for, uh, blocks. Not blocks, uh, stone blocks. Lady, did you did you bandage yourself up? Oh, I guess that one of them people had some weed. Get grab the weed. Grab that sweet Mary J. <laughs> You're gonna just rest now. Just get get some snooze. He's he's like, I'm gonna just take care of my plants. That is a sh kind of shitty short bow. Are you? Oh, you're not quite dead. You got up and then you fell back down again. Figured you're gonna just bleed out, but now you kind of a. Uh, Weirdo. Weird, racist, <laughs> imp person. If she, again, if she had crafting with a passion, I would uh, take, up, take her on without much thought, because I need that. Oh, here comes the harvest. What are you doing, Olabar? Consuming? Very well.
All right, those should only be all just bl blocks now. Ah, he's an aesthetic, so his be like the worse his bedroom is, the better, which is weird, but. Okay, Lady is gonna haul that corpse away. Splash Mountain. He's gonna play some Ur. Good for you, Olabar. Go to sleep. All right, Huntsman, let's see if we can find something to kill. <laughs> Boomal, well, you could probably kill a boomalip, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, we can try killing this donkey, and if it doesn't work out, we'll go after something else. Figure if we stand near the edge of the map, maybe it won't come towards us. Ah, No, you don't. You, you don't want to escape the map very badly. You don't. I promise you don't. You you wanna you wanna stay here forever. And ever. Okay, we probably just shoot it and kill it now. Ah, oh, almost. Almost got you, donkey. Donkey! Ooh, that would have been a hell of a shot. Ooh, level up to eight shooting. So at this point, we're gonna freaking. It'll just start ble It'll just. Okay, it's dead. It sounded so just bored. It's like, oh, fine, I'll die. Fine. <laughs> Alright. All right, Huntsman, butcher time. Okay, and what is Lemur up to? Oh, you're, play you're playing Hoopstone. Good for you. He's awake, so now he's gonna sow more rice. Since we grew all that cotton, which we have 416 cotton. Which we can use to make some good uh, clothes eventually. Faster we can research batteries and then, um, let me see. It'd be batteries and then we're gonna get, um, solar panels. Cause you can make wind turbines once you research electricity, but they're very inconsistent. 
Like sometimes the wind's really fast, sometimes it's really slow. So solar panels are very are much more reliable, but if you don't have a battery, then you don't, you just run out of power at night, you know. Okay, now it's time to go play with the tree. I think we're gonna have a room dedicated strictly for like hay and hay grass and stuff. Which this stuff's almost all grown, which is good. It takes a while to grow because it's just grows a little slow, but we'll make a little room just for storing that so that any animals we get can kind of go in there and just eat food. <laughs> so we weren't gonna have this fence forever. That was kind of something I just had at the time. Honestly, on that note, I think it's time to kind of plan what we're going to do with this. Uh, how close are you to healing? Uh, you'll be fine. I want to kind of lock in the size of this hospital here. Uh, we'll move that there. Of course, Lemur's about to go to bed, so, you know, whatever. Oh, hey, the creatures. Oh, they look cool. Four herbal medicine in two days? Holy shit, that's actually really strong. I didn't think it'd be that good. Lady is fully healed. Well, that'll, that'll make things a lot simpler for us. Oh, these trees have just been kind of hanging out in here. Whoops, uh, we're gonna just uh, plant them. Then. I forgot about them. I mean, not, it wouldn't have been the end, at the end of the world, but I would prefer to have them grow and be, you know, just, you know, trees instead of saplings that just waste away and die in my storeroom. Oh, I don't know if I should have re, re sown the hay grass there. Busy little bees. That also gives a little bit of wood back from this process. Lemur loudly insulted Olabar's mother's facial. That's rude.
Lemur, why? Why are you like this? I was wondering where they're taking the hay grass. Looks like they've been taking it into here. What's, oh, that's aminal bodies. Just Olimar is constantly having a bad time with this whole break risk stuff. That's with this, which uh, lowers your mental break stuff, so. Hmm. I want to say there's a mod that adds another um, kind of like piece of equipment that lowers your, that makes you have a, a much more reasonable um, mental health threshold stuff because, yeah, our colony's getting big enough now th and like technologically, technologically enough to where... Um, well, no wonder you're having a bad time. We haven't made any food. I keep forget. I keep having problems with doing that. No wonder our glorious leader is not in a good mood. Oh wait, does Olibar not get that plus five from the fine meal? Huh. That's unfortunate. That's a pretty pretty noticeable mood boost that people normally get, and well I guess he just doesn't get that for whatever reason that may be. Weird. No, I think we're, we're probably out of wood. I would imagine that's why stuff hasn't been getting built that I need. I could probably make, make more stuff out of bone, but I mean, we'll, we'll also just probably need to cut wood too. Yeah, these trees kind of need to go away because we're going to probably expand these rooms out just a little more. At the very least, the freezer. She, I heard her doing something. She's doing this. Yeah, we're gonna add this to this room in here so that we can make this as nice as possible for the festival thing that they are saying that we should do. What? Need at least twenty five unroofed cells nearby. A social ritual where people release sky lanterns. Participants will assemble wooden sky lanterns while socializing, then release them and watch them drift away. Depending on the ritual quality, participants will receive will get between negative three and plus ten mood for six days. 
if the lantern, if the festival is beautiful or unforgettable, the sky lanterns might attract a group of friendly visitors. If the sky lantern festival is beautiful or unforgettable, fifty percent chance of random recruit of same ideology, ideologian joining your colony. So maybe I should just like make a campfire out and like outside and do it. I guess. Interesting. Pollution pump. Huh? Well, I guess let's uh, have our little festival uh, right next to this tree. I guess. We're missing wood. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, whole bar, wake up. They farted. They have farted out some herbal medicine. In two more days, they'll make some more. That's very. That's very strong. Oh uh, well, there's a pretty good chance it works. So um, let's see what this thing is. Because if I don't do this, they'll be upset that we didn't do it. They were upset last year that we didn't do it, but we just started. So. Talked about devils. Of course he did. There they go. Burns advent was beautiful. The drifting lanterns make everyone feel at peace. Everyone participating in the ritual gains six mood for six days. A wanderer has arrived and wants to join your colony. A deep space miner named Genevieve has arrived and wants to join your colony. She is willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn her down and send her away. However, your colonists will be disturbed at sending someone away in need. I thing is I don't know Genevieve's stats or where Genevieve even is or what Genevieve even is that's a raccoon <laughs> um Well, if we had animals, this would uh, be very good stuff for them. 
Like a lot of very good stuff. And ooh, corn's almost done. Our our investment will will pay off. Uh, oh, um, one of my um, one of one one of my one someone that was in the chat, one of my viewers, was like, "Oh, you have a bunch of bots." I was like, oh, okay. Uh, don't see too many more other bots. Hmm. There might be, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's go back to these. <clears throat> these. What is this guy? What are you doing, old bar? So it's actually mostly fine, I think. Call some of this hay while you're at it there, Mr. Mr. Sir. Got a lot. We got a lot of hay. That currently doesn't have anything to eat it, but nice to have. Is everyone asleep? Huh. Almost never happens, because these two are on a night owl schedule, and these two aren't, so there's almost always someone awake. Let's forbid that for now. Low food means I probably need to cook some more. That's correct. I, I, I most certainly do. Let's see. So we can get 10 of those. 13 of those before this meat goes bad, which in four hours. Nope, stop eating and cook. Cook, damn you. Cook. Don't let that donkey meat go bad. I mean, if, if it, some of it goes bad, that's fine. I kind of caught it a little late. Frankly, we got, we got most of it. We actually ended up making all of it. Up oh, the the um the, the meat like went bad. It disintegrated in his hands. <laughs> do I just hate it when you're holding some raw meat and it just falls apart in your hands? It's a little inconvenient, but you know. Oh, Lemur's smoking some weed. <laughs> One of the we had a, we had a raid earlier, and some of the people had some freaking um, smoke leaf on them. So Lemur is just. Blazing it up. <laughs> Got a big old fucking spliff. Things like the size of her body. <laughs> it's like a giant burrito, but you're but it's weed. <laughs> Okay, we got some meals. I'll, I'll last this for like two days. Ooh, I need to decide if I'm gonna have this. Um, she's willing to contribute. You can choose to turn her down and send her away, but your conus will be disturbed. All right. Oh, you're, you're, you need a, you need a cheeseburger, dear. You got a handgun though. All right. Okay. All right. What do you please? Oh, oh my goodness! You are a crafter. You are perfect. You're a genie too. Uh, which means genetically, that's you. You have dark brown hair wherever it is. Yeah, I have like the I have like these like facial animations. Th this one mod for animal uh, animal facial animations, and it's like anime style. 
But yeah, it's very, it's a lot more apparent with the characters that's just bald like this. Uh, Xena Jean's dead calm. Carries this gene feel calm in every situation. Have a very placid demeanor. They will never start social fights or have aggressive mental breaks. Well, that's nice. Delicate. Characters of the gene take greater injuries than others from the same damage. They have thin, brittle bones and less binding molecules and joints and flesh. They take extra pain. No hair. No beard. Very thin. Elongated fingers. Ugh. <laughs> bad at plants, bad at animals, great at crafting. Awful. That's social. Me too. Great intellect. Ooh. Oh, we have an actual researcher now. Yes. Actually, per like, probably about as good of a colonist as I could have wanted to, to join us. And you're gonna probably never fight anything on principle because you'll get like a stiff breeze will touch her and she'll just fall over and bleed out all, all over the place. The and these things just pump out herbal medicine for us constantly. We got this big ass tree here that he's taking care of. Well, we now need another uh, bedroom. On the bright side, though, Genevieve here is is bisexual, so maybe she'll hook up with Olabar or Lady. But for now, we're gonna have to get her a bed. So we're gonna build a bed, new bed. The, the main benefit of them hooking up is it's just less peep, less bedroom space that you have to dedicate. Which means you can have more people in the same, like, kind of area. Uh, let's make another bone bed here for, for Genevieve. Let's actually make it outside, because there's more light outside. That sounds silly, but, like... We don't have electric lights quite yet up and running, so the light outside is better. You're researching? That's great and all, but we're about to have a full-time researcher, like, all the time if they're not crafting stuff, because they have a passion in it, so they gain skill faster. But Lemur has worked very hard to get that skill. Uh, you're going to make this bed, though, because... Our, our new friend here is going to need somewhere to rest. I might switch Olabar's bedroom with hers, because Olabar is an aesthetic, so he likes having a shitty bedroom. We'll still make the bed anyway. And we can just switch this to Olabar's room. Cleaning Laura Croft's obstacle course. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> ah. I was gonna say, is that code for something? Oh, sweet. It's code for being gay. That's kind of what I was implying. <laughs> Considering every single colonist on my place here... Oh, Genevieve put on a little hat. A little cowboy hat. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be Olimar, Olibar's room now. And Genevieve's gonna get this nice, juicy double bed now. Just because Olibar likes having a shitty room, so Olibar's gonna get a shitty room. I'll actually get him a mood boost, I think, having a, a shittier bedroom. Which is weird, but hey, you know what? Some people just have different needs.
Olabar's bedroom. Hideous. Very dirty. Quite spacious. <laughs> Mediocre. Awful. Get them a bed like you. Cali King. I mean, that's kind of what these double beds are, like, other than being not super long. Kind of like a Cali King, I guess. But, Cal yeah, Cali Kings are massive. They can feel like six of you, Ash. <laughs> Or, or I guess one Mika. <laughs> what skills do you... Oh, you are a good miner, Genevieve. And decent at constructing. Crafting until... Yeah, you're... She was a really good fit. <clears throat> I need to set your work stuff, though, honey. Uh, let's see. For now, your mining's not gonna get used. If there's stuff like tailoring or smithing or anything like that, like, that's, like, her jam there. Construction, uh, we're gonna turn that off. I mean, maybe. I mean, got a passion for it, so eventually get better. Currently as a 98% construct chance. So, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Okay, so now Olabar has still a pretty uh, pretty awful room, but I think that's actually going to make him happier. Let me let me look at his... Yep, aesthetic is awful bedroom. My bedroom is just how I want it to be. Very humble and simple. It's, it's just dirt with a... It's got a bush. That's nice, you know? It's just... You got a nice little bedroom bush. You just... It's where you can keep like your wallet, <laughs> like your phone. Just plug it into the wall. All right. What other skills do you have there, new friend? Uh, let's see, crafting, that's, you're, once we get some crafting stuff that we wanna do, you're gonna be doing that. Oh, research as well. I now have a daytime researcher too, instead of uh, only at night. So research is gonna go a lot faster, and she's going. She's actually good at it. So yeah, we're, our research stuff is gonna pick up pretty nicely. These little medicine maker dryads are pretty sweet. Do they count as as pets? I don't know if they count as because that's a medical sleeping spot. Um, no, they don't count as pets like the tortoise does. The tortoise that has repeatedly just kind of self tamed itself on its own, like. We didn't do anything to it. It just kind of decided to, uh... Ooh, I gotta keep in mind now that that's another mouth to feed, too. So, we're... Per... The rice... Not rice. The corn's almost done, though. That's gonna be a nice influx of food. And we'll probably just plant, uh... Rice there instead going forward. I should probably fence this in now. Yeah, I should almost certainly uh, fence this, wall this in, rather. Well, we've got some blocks. Don't know where we got sandstone blocks. Got a bunch of marble. Um. <clears throat> okay, we can put that up now. Uh, let's move... Hmm. Yeah, this wall is gonna just. We're gonna go ahead and move this in. I plan on moving this in so we can have a, a storeroom be just a bit bigger. And then these pieces of wall can go out here. And we'll move 
move this back out so that Olabar can have something to do. I mean, he's, he's pretty busy keeping this tree nice and happy. Alright, well, actually, let's look at schedule. Uh, Genevieve, you get some recreation uh, before bed just like everyone else. Helps keep their mood a little higher. Ooh, you just gotta, you just gotta level up. Even better. <laughs> Genevieve looks like a news anchor now. <laughs> just came out of nowhere. Just like, hey, I'm gonna learn you the news. Why are you hanging out over here, weirdo? Little creature. I like how they have to like specify this account now because there's not just humans. There's, like, mechs that you can have. Like, this update specifically adds, like, different races. Like, impids and genies. Like, we have a genie now. That's what uh, Genevieve is. Um, it adds, like, mechs that you can, like, you can, like, have this thing installed in your character that lets them control mechs. It's really cool. I haven't played with it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna set that any worker so that Genevieve can also, um... Maybe do it. Um, are you not set to what? Excuse me, why is it not uh, letting me do anything? Oh, that one's still set to Olabar too. All right, I guess that makes sense. Uh, you are resting now, it is Midnight, I guess that makes sense. And you're doing research at night. They're both doing research at night. Unless something needs to happen, which... Judging by the food, um, yeah, we might need to go, um... Pick some berries and kill some animals. I think it'll be fine until morning. What do we have? What? Is, oh, what are you? Dinotherium. Are you like a weird old elephant? Long extinct giant mammals brought back to life as part of the megafauna project. Dinotherium means terrible beast. It's a unique cousin to the mammoths and mastodons. Equipped with downward curved tusks and a lower jaw. Very short tempered and incredibly dangerous when angered. How much meat do you give? I'm just curious. I'm not gonna fight one because that would be a um, a bad idea. They also probably eat a l 700 meat. I wouldn't even know how to store all that much food. Let alone use it. Uh, we'll have these get hauled too so that we can um have stuff around for oh I didn't know huntsman was good oh I said any worker uh do I have him on crafting still yes I do let's hit you to four just so you can make bricks if necessary because I don't know why they don't take them. I have a feeling I know why now, actually. Um, normal. 
I have a feeling it's because um, like I'm telling them to, to drop them Oh, he's gra he's grabbing a granite chunk. To make some more. Uh... Okay, I figured out the reason they were, they were taking it there is because this was set to a higher priority than normal, which means it's like oh the priority is higher, and it means I have to take it there because that's how the priority system like functions. Oh, batteries are done. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot more research done now that we have a. Uh, third person that's not only good at researching but can do it during the day when these two are asleep so batteries are done let's grab ourselves for perform the surgeries necessary to create a test tube embryo from a fertile man and a woman then implant the embryo in a surrogate mother or a growth vat oh boy uh, solar panels. Let's, uh, just, let's do that. <laughs> uh, do we have any critters around I could, uh, turn into meat? No, that's not a, well, it is, but it's not alive. I feel it's because this stuff is here, though it's not letting it grow, it's grass that it needs. Uh, what was I looking for? A animals. That's it. Uh, why don't I just do this? Oh, there's a, there's a few animals on the map. about we pay you a visit with our good friend uh, Huntsman I'm gonna shoot you in the face time to get shot in the face oh god damn one shot but he did not waste time perfect timing because all of ours about to bring back some delicious berries Let's see, we've got 75, we got 75, uh, that's 90. I don't know if we have that much uh, vegetable stuff, like plants to go with it. But we can try to find more berry bushes around to supplement our rice for now. Okay, wait, there's a few more over here. We can have Ol Olabar, go grab you. Huntsman, you're gonna stop doing that and cook. Huntsman, you need to cook. Because peep bitches are gonna be hungry. Oh god. Genevieve viciously insulted ladies' social skills. That's not very nice, Genevieve. Are you abrasive? No, you're nimble, which is... Like... Good for avoiding damage. But your social zero. <laughs> Negative level adjusted to zero, so... If I wanted her to have any social whatsoever, uh, we would have to, um, 
do a lot have do a lot of work on that. Like a lot of work, and I don't think it's worth it. She's probably she's probably just not gonna get along with anyone. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. They're all just not friendly with each other. <laughs> all right, cool. Whatever. Uh, prison camp. Marine helmets. Yeah, whatever. People arrive. Genevieve is here. Yep, we know. Oh, we can make nine more of these fine meals. I need to continue working on uh, this situation, too. Oh, they just squirted out some more herbal medicine. That's really good, because we've just got a bunch of it now. And these don't, like, take any upkeep of any kind, really, so... I think he's just walking around? Yeah, he's just walking around. <clears throat> Fighting gooses. Sometimes you gotta just fight a goose. So this is gonna be a little uh, power room, like batteries and like fuse boxes and that kind of that kind of junk, you know. So we're gonna start planning that, and this is gonna eventually be a uh, place for us to keep for our animals to like sleep. And then here will be like a storeroom for like hay or whatever. A lot of stuff goes into this kind of stuff. Oh, the, the 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 corn is done. It's not gonna. We're not gonna get another harvest of that this year. I don't ima can't imagine. So we're gonna switch this to back over to rice. As you can see, you get like twenty two corn per like spot compared to like rice gives you six. So yeah, you like you get a lot of food out of growing corn instead of uh, rice, but it takes a while longer. So I just like use this area that was not being used otherwise to plant some other food. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of food. Oh wow, I didn't know you could actually paste uh, blue stuff uh, settings like that onto blueprints before it's even built. That's actually really useful. Oh.
There was just a little bit of dirt right underneath them, so that made it go from sterile to clean, which... Yeah, we don't want that. We, we want it to be as um, clean as possible. Thirteen implants. What are you up to, Lemur? Oh, you're gonna get good more blocks. could put like an animal flap here but I don't know if that's like necessary let's see structure let's see. let's take a look a doorway hung for with thick overlapping strips of fabric or leather it allows animals to pass while insulating the temperature animal flaps are commonly used as barn doors to give pen animals a sheltered place to sleep okay um now what kinds of stuff we have plain leather we have a lot of that so we'll probably use plain leather to make an animal flap. Plain leather, and we'll put that. I'm guessing we ran out of wood again. Where's Jenny at? Kind of her nickname now, just Jenny. I feel like that's a cute nickname for Genevieve, like Jenny. <laughs> All right, and uh, movie this ta hand tailor bench further away, and then we'll expand this zone to encompass this, the rest of the room. Uh, let's go to stone blocks. No, and no bone either, because we already have spots for them. Okay, let's do some orders. We'll deconstruct these fences now because they are no longer necessary. seen this little fire over here and it keeps making me freak out because I think something's on fire but no it's fine there's still just more corn out here because people need to ha haul it and they're just not Settlement. The faction of Mpugmoil Pact extended and created a new settlement. Well, let's find out. Oh, those are the people that are uh, minus 92 with us. Okay, it's not super close, so. We're at, we're at, our settlement's called Catasbia. <laughs> Who else is nearby? Uh, these neutral folks. Hi, Pookie. Love little man. Oh, I touched him and he shook his head and ran away. Hunting work site. 
Uh, what is this? You detected a hunting work site nearby controlled by Poison Party. If you wish, you could raid the camp to collect loot. Since Poison Party is just a small independent group, you can attack them without any broader diplomatic consequences. Hmm, what's... It's a lot of pumpkin. Pumpkin. Uh, let's uh, just go back to to being on, being on this screen here. Okay, well we've got a good amount of food now. Almost to the point of excess. But I feel like that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Oh, there's more herbal medicine, these little dryad things. Oh, we have a third one now, so every two days we'll get 12. That's silly. <laughs> Genevieve, stop. S stop. She's just obsessed with making blocks. What, what, what are your needs? Insulted, yeah, minor pain, what what happened? Oh, I didn't notice you had a scar. Well, that's annoying. That means she's going to have a, con a, a constant, slightly lowered, um... Why do you have this? Huh. Slept in the heat. I have to sleep in unbearable heat. Can't we have air conditioning? No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I would rather have her constantly doing research. Because that's more important. Is getting our research done. Thirteenth of Juggest. Let's see. Currently, it's the 13th of a juggist. <laughs> it takes about four days for us to, um... We should be able to get another harvest off. Pecky. Woo! 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 Am I embarrassing you on live TV? Yeah, he ran away. <laughs> a little fool. If I'm a big fool, he's a little fool. We're good. We're, we got a lot of food going on here. Have to move this uh, shelf here as well, just to kind of. Cause these shelves are very overpowered. I did not realize how good shelves were. I don't know if they were always just this good or if like they got a really big buff, but like each spot holding freaking um like each spot holding three stacks is massive. Oh yeah, I had people hauling blocks from across the way. I like how the only thing we have over here is just a bunch of hay. <laughs> okay, 
we're gonna get the animal sleeping spots in I don't know why I'm like moving Okay, I'll make these ones medical in case any aminals get hurt. And this one can be for Tortoise One. <laughs> the only animal we have is a, a fucking tortoise. <laughs> uh, I think we finished a. Oh, we did. A marble art sculpture, normal. Beauty 135. Wow. That'll make this place much nicer. Which is good because this is, that's like our uh, ritual place. This room is now pretty. Quite spacious, mediocre, somewhat impressive. Good pew and excellent pew. Lemur gets another shooting frenzy. All right, good for you. room still kind of undone here well we've got lots of this stuff now so let's uh, have huntsman instead of just picking up 10 million blocks let's find uh, something for him to hunt mmm mmm <laughs> that's a big maybe um, that would be very foolish of me to try doing. They get to, they're researching right now, so they get to kind of just chatter up a little bit. Perfect, because I don't want them to be coming out here when I'm dragging this mega sloth back. Because if we look at animal, if uh, to wildlife here, if you, mega sloths have a 50% chance to go uh, to attack when they're harmed, so it's a coin flip, and this thing is gonna try to chase us. Hopefully it's a coin flip that we win, cause... Oh, I need to kinda go around the corner, I guess. Start running. Oh, it's fleeing. Well, perhaps I can get it to be in a more advantageous spot anyway. Kinda what? I was preparing to just run for the fucking hills. Anyway, okay, just pop, pot shot. Oh, I hit it without, oh wow, I got a pretty good, must have got a pretty good shot on it. Oh, this thing is, it's 18 years old. It's old enough to fight for its country. <laughs> then again, I, I shot it in the heart. And it's like just I shot it in the heart with freaking this, this bow. God damn, Huntsman, you're like a surgeon. With that thing. Well, now it's gonna be a little aggressive, but it might be. S oh, it's way slow. Yeah, it's way too slow for it to even really be much of a threat. We might be able to just kill it by the time it gets here. Oh, 
Okay, let's maybe not um, let it get that close. Yeah, this thing's moving a little slow. It's gonna give us a lot of meat though. It's now dead. Okay, well. Um, what's our research looking like? Uh, shit, I probably should have waited until we had air conditioning to kill something like that, because that's, we're going to have a lot of that meat go bad. Then again, we're having people eat, we're eating 10 meals a day, so we kind of need a good amount of food. Well, already done the thing, let's go ahead and, uh, get on with it, you know. While we're at it, I'm gonna just kind of expand this out anyway. Okay, butcher creature. Huntsman is indeed a huntsman. Shot a freaking arrow right through the freaking Mega Sloth's heart. God damn. Icons, we can just carry this thing and like without help. <laughs> and that's like two, sh almost two shelf, like one shelf just full of meat. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, well, let's make some food. Let's create some foods. Because we've got 370 meat. That's like 180 something meals. <laughs> Which we're not gonna be able to make that many. So we're, we might make another order. And change this one to be uh, do until you have twenty. And then let the very just very cautious. Why are you doing granite? What whatever, weirdo. Watch that stare the sterility of You're praying. Good for you. Enjoy. He's he's doing stuff over here with the tree. You're researching, you probably should you're about to be as well. And you're playing hoopstone. I don't know if, did you ever even start cooking anything? Oh, he has a shooting frenzy. Well, that would have been nice earlier. Oh, there's more herbal medicine. Once this third one is done, they'll be 
even more. As it is, we're already got like 47 and we're growing some more too but we'll probably stop just we'll probably stop growing it honestly once this is done we'll probably replace it with like smoke leaf or something you doing? Well, that's fine. We can go to bed or whatever. Or it looks like a lady already cleaned it. Because that's one of her things she does. She just cleans a lot. She's a clean and fiend. Alright. We don't need these two anymore because we've got this set up in here. Before we get too carried away, we're gonna set a. Uh, uh, remove roof thing for out here so that they never built roofs in this area. Same with this spot here, because we're gonna probably wall this little bit in too. We go have a wall come down and like a little corridor come over here, so that we can access all this stuff without leaving our walls. Just makes things safer. Like if we get raided or something, it'll make it a little easier to deal with. While we're at it, let's plan out walls. And when time is more fortuitous to us, Much mega sloth blood. And a break rest for Genevieve. What? What are you? Oh, jeez. What? S stop and eat. You're like you're worse than me. I'll like get into something and I'll like forget to eat. Like I have like a partial bag of chips on my desk that I hadn't finished. Like one of those little like kind of snack bags. <laughs> just, just sitting there researching for like a million hours.
That's another reason why I really want to get electricity up is because we keep using we keep using so much wood to fuel this stove that once you have electricity, if your power by like wind or like solar or whatever, it, it's like basically free power. So that'll make cooking a lot more cheap. And then pulling it back up. Ooh, a bulk goods trader from Veristan. Hello. Who's got the best social? Lady does. By the time they get here, we might, you know, she might just be awake anyway. Oh yeah, these people have purple masks, they're kind of weird. I like how they just run right through all of my bays just to come out here. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. I like how smug the fucking muffalos look. Alright, what we got? <clears throat> well, we got bird skin. We'll sell that. Like the only leather I really want to worry much about is like plain leather because that's the one we had the most of. We can just sell the rest. Not the heavy fur though. Maybe not the bear skin. Then we'll hold on to the bear skin and the heavy fur. Sell the cam hide though. Uh, components, we have a bunch of those. We're gonna keep them though. What's that? What's the life expectancy of an alpaca? 16, 15? So you're a little older than middle age. Tempted to buy these alpacas, but we could probably end up taming some on our own. Anyway, so prob maybe not actually. Bone chair. <laughs> Ain't no froggy chair, but you do what you gotta do. Shuttle pilot's visor. Shuttle pilot's visors. Used to fulfill your usual piloting needs, like calling in Houston, mayday, mayday, landing struts are jammed. I repeat, landing struts are jammed. Copy? Roger Wilco, Star Fox 1 out. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. How oh, Devil Strand Top Hat. Ooh. Devil Strand's really good, but it takes a long time to grow, so you have to, like, properly plan it out. Unfortunate that they don't have weapons they're just kind of bulk trader hmm silver table that's kind of sick Uh, well, that's some more money, I guess, and clean out, it'll clean out our stock, our room a little bit too, so. I 
Ah, uh, here we go. The sombrero is what I was thinking of earlier that like helps reduce your uh, mental break threshold. And we'll just take what we got now. We'll sell some of like the crappy clothing. Eventually, whoever we decide to be our uh, noble person will get this bone chair that we have. Alright, that's fine. Let's just. Gotta cut more trees. No. <laughs> no, please, not more trees. Uh, she's, she drew the short end of the stick and grabbed the, the simple meal. A transport crash. Ryu, huh? A white face mask. The cooperative. Hmm. The architect's demand is simple. Follow their designated path and no other. Architects can do anything. The only reason they let us live and choose is to judge us better. Someday, the architects will depart when they find a people who present themselves as worthy partners to the machine god consciousness. Wonderful. Child labor encouraged. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I guess let's look at their actual stuff. Uh, we already have a crafter now. I think... Uh, Lemur's decent with animals, so we won't, don't really need that. Another melee wouldn't be the worst, but... Abrasive's bad, Jealous is bad. Asexual's pretty neutral, I mean... Just means that, it just means that he can't hook up with anyone to share rooms. So in that case, it's kind of bad, but not like... it. It's not tactically um, beneficial, I guess, rather than being bad. <laughs> Mm, what about your stuff? Nah, whatever. Well, let's say we probably got a few more bricks now, so maybe we should start building this wall section. Lemur, since Lemur's awake. So take a a pretty hefty amount of uh of blocks.
Oh, there's some more herbal medicine. Yay. <laughs> yeah, those little little medical ones are pro honestly they seem like they'd be the best ones to have because then you just don't have to worry about growing medicine. They just make medicine. This tree just appear out of nowhere? It might have. It happens sometimes where trees just kind of spawn. Oh, Lemur's just, I was like, wait, why is Lemur not building? And that's because Lemur is asleep. A sleepy little Lemur. Weapons cache pods. Ooh. I was sitting here to finish eating some of my chips, and then it's like... Once in a while, just the regular lays just hit the spot. There's something about them. It just hits the spot. Having them too much, though, kind of makes them kind of awful. I mean, they're probably not great anyway, but, like, yeah. Words. Anyway, uh, weapons cache pods. What do we have? Oh, is that a fucking charge rocket? What? Ooh. We got some goodies today, and there's just like a rotting turkey over here. Okay, we are absolutely getting these things inside before they have any chance to go bad. Let's remove plans from this stuff. And here. Oh, I just realized our little hospital just kind of, she's kind of like open to the world. <laughs> Whoops, let me uh, fix that. Okay, sterile, he's just. Let me release 16 construction. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> She's like, oh, I keep getting fucking woken up. Need warm cloths. Everyone needs warm clothes. What about you? Negative 45. Jesus Christ. Okay. Probably because you've got like that. Let's see, insulation, cold, eight degrees Celsius. Let's investigate Tukes. Because I think histor historically, I think uh, typically Tukes have better, uh, slightly better. I think our main uh, sticking point is that everyone's wearing like Mammoth wool cargo pants. You've got like a cloth t-shirt. Um, we really gotta get into... 
having some better uh, stuff like better dusters and all that like uh, it keeps us reasonably reasonably warm Escape plain leather. Um, hmm. Okay, I mean, plain leather is pretty um, good in general. It's pretty middle of the ro middle of the road. It's compared to cloth. Cloth is. Looks like it's cloth is better in general. It's very middle, very average, but average is not bad. Ooh. How to charge rocket launcher? <laughs> Fires a single anti-grain shell at precise accuracy due to laser targeting. The warhead explodes in the air, re releasing a wave of deadly electroshock. Oh. Does this mean it's good against robots? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, just fucking stinky little tree over here. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Where's Lemur? Answers Lemur is doing exactly what I told her to do. Surprisingly. Something just got fucking destroyed. I have a feeling it was the, uh, a rat. Oh, two and a half, 2.3 more days. We'll be getting 12 medicine every two days. That's honestly very strong. And yeah, when these are done growing, we're gonna switch them to something else. I don't think we might not have enough time left to grow anything other than rice, so we'll probably just. Oh shit! Well, some yeah, that's why I was should have waited to do the mega sloth until we had a freezer, cause all that all the meat we didn't get made into food just all went bad. <laughs> that's okay. We got a good amount of food from it. And honestly, we're gonna just um, make this room in here clear all. Uh, it's gonna be hay and uh, kibble. And then we're gonna just uh, delete this. more medicine yeah we're not gonna have to worry about medicine this year <laughs> not by a long shot medicine does have a spoilage rate but it's very slow with how much we're often we're getting it too it's like not even really that much of a factor I think the only thing that's really gonna oh solar panels nice 
All right, so we got batteries, we got solar panels. Uh, now, air conditioning. Once we have that, we can put together a freezer. Now we have solar panels, we can start planning out our power grid a little bit. So let's go power. Solar panels, they are one, two, three, four. They're a little bigger than I thought they were. Uh, so I think they're four by four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, they're four by four, so I can do planning instead to put where I should have them. Okay, I have one there. <clears throat> One there. Leave me a space in between just because it makes it easier to um, it just makes it easier to work with. And what we can do is have the um, a line come off here to put power into our system and yeah and we can have the kind of go this way throughout the base I don't think there's like a throughput on wires like where there's only like a maximum like amount that they can do like some like modern Minecraft stuff has Just in case I decide I want to expand to even more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just How much granite do we have? 62, so we're gonna need more of that. Which means if Jenny's available, she's gonna do that. Cause, yeah. Lemur's gonna be really busy. Alrighty, thanks, Randy. Oh, that's a different tour. I thought that was Tortoise One. I was like, no, Tortoise One, not not Tortoise One. <laughs> okay, these are counted as animals that we own, but I don't think they're counted as like. like I don't think I can assign them. I can assign the. We just have a random coot. The problem with the cougar is that he eats meat which means we either need to give it kibble or we need to um we need to give it kibble or we need to feed it meat or meals and it kind of came to us already kind of hungry too so that's unfortunate um We can have it we can have it assigned to someone to have it guard them. You can also haul things around.
one nutrition. Let's compare that to a, like a normal meal, just so I can see the numbers. Okay, so a simple meal needs 0.5 nutrition, which is raw food. Fine meal is, okay, so. So this equals five. The 0.25 here is five. So I guess one nutrition is 20. So you need like, if I'm understanding this correct, it's like 20 protein and 20 greens. But I think that might make 50 kibble. But we have to very we have to, we're gonna be very specific to allow this to only use hay. So we're gonna clear all, select hay, and uh, we'll select meat. We're not gonna select animal products because well, no. And we'll see how long we can keep the cougar around. I mean, I can just hunt and make a bunch of kibble. I suppose I mean, would be the end of the world. I think the cougar could also eat pemmican. <laughs> My the the bigger problem is I don't know if a uh, lemur has the skill animal skill to tame this cougar to keep it tamed. Otherwise, it will revert to being wild. And yeah, that was kind of the thing I was afraid of is that this cougar is a little um, a little lackluster. So we, we might release it to the wild. Because, yeah, it's... Uh... Alright, wake up. We gotta release this cougar before it gets too close to our base. Because otherwise it's gonna be a problem. Because I can't afford... Well, that skeleton's about to get vaporized. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Destroyed a heal root, too. Oh, run! Lemur gently pet Cougar One one last time and set him free. Sorry, Cougar One. I just don't have the means to take care of you right now. Or the skill. If I had the higher animal skill, I would have just kept him around. But that was a uh, problem. That would have been a come to be a big problem. If if Cougar One decided it was time to no longer um, be tamed during a inopportune time, that could have been a massive problem. Need more fly, whatever. Bring some of that wood inside. And after you do this, Jenny, here, we're gonna. Make you, you're gonna go do anything else, probably like sleep. Lemur is, it's, lemur's like, it's, lemur's like, it's midnight, it's time to build. Oh wait, that part got built, now we just gotta have her, uh, I need to zone this better. Uh, remove roof area. And I'll remove the roof from that too. Keep 
make this nice little outdoor area where I can like move trees and stuff too if they need to grow. Yeah. Psychic drone is ending. Nice. That'll make all of our feel a little better. Party! Huntsman is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy. And a lasting, positive thing. Well, our party room's still a little ugly, but it's very spacious. That might be one of the next things we work on is just getting this floored up and not d made of just dirt and stone anymore. Party! Party is finished. That'd be a nice mood boost. Yeah, I, I, I need Lemur to get this done before I do, do anything else. problem. You're an aggressive, uh, you're an, an aggressive, um, arthropod. That's, how fast are you? Uh, 3.38. You're not super fast. Like, Huntsman's who I'd be looking at, and he is... Three point. Mm. You'd have to get kind of the kind of get the jump on them. Up. Oh, more medicine. This one should be done soon. With that's it. Oh, 24 hours, and we'll have three. Supplies for Orange Bluff. A nearby settlement has a special trade request. They would like to purchase. Hoods. If you, check, if you want to make the trade and send a caravan with the request items, the estimated travel time is seven hours. Silent your former. Eh. I don't know if the now is the right time for that one either. Oh, I need to have a door right here. Cause yeah, they're not, they're having to go this way. Lady derided Gen Genevieve self-control. Genevieve and Lady joked about missiles. Fuck, it seems like they had two very different um, ideas on how that conversation went. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I should know what you're doing, Olabar. You like basically live over here, this tree. Keeps his plant skill grinding up though, which is cool. Which means when he harvests stuff, he does it faster and he gets a higher yield too, so. All right, that, that's probably enough. <laughs> that's probably enough of that. Oh, lemur's awake. I know that because I hear the sounds of building. Stop eating your damn meal there. 
Eat it inside, you fool. You foolish girl. Okay, this is gonna be where we keep our uh, our solar panels. Remove roof area. We don't want roofs here because solar panels can't exactly work if the sun is blocked. Where y'all fuckers go? Oh, you're playing. You're doing that. Okay, cool. They just like fucking disappear. It's like. Okay, wall. Let's go here. Let's get another door here. his tree all right so we now have an easier way to getting in and out and around this stuff See the food's probably the food's very low, so let's find something to um, help expand that. Paraceratherium. Probably kill a few of these hairs, I guess. They're not very substantial. Huntsman's definitely the one I want doing this because he seems to have the freaking magical shot with this freaking. Well, granted, he has a very good bow. This homing rec recurve bow. It's a very. It's a pretty damn good bow. It's a pretty damn good weapon for what it is, which is, you know, it's a bow. I like how these, these dudes sound like cows. Come on, shoot it in the brain. Get it over with. Uh. Ooh. That was pretty clean. Pretty clean indeed.
Alrighty, bud. After you eat, you're gonna butcher that that fresh friend there. And I'll get us some more meals. Nope, oh, it's dirty in here. Nope. It's kind of a way I've figured out to kind of try to get the dirt to generate properly is when you notice that the dirt has arrived, you just kind of move around on the spot a few times. Intel, damn. Did she have like seven when she got here earlier in the stream? She's like 13. That's just like shows you. I don't know if it was seven, but it, she's. It, it's. It's good having a night. A, it's nice having a good researcher because that just means that they research faster and they learn more faster. So it's just. Yeah. Them rest and I'll probably have him go try to hunt something else. Oh, sorry, got it in like full camera view. Boop. <laughs> Nothing like a post loving meal, I guess. <laughs> Good job, Lemur. How are y'all getting along? Oh, pretty good, actually. I, I was kind of thinking. That Huh. It's it seems like L Lemur and um Olibar just don't interact much and don't really like each other, but hey. Lemur likes everyone else, including Genevieve. about practicing with shivs. Practice makes perfect. Oh, they're actually playing the game over together. Nice. I was like, oh, my bedroom sucks shit. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, what did we... I know we got, like, an assault rifle or something like that. How does that stack up to my bow? Three shot burst. 11 damage, so 33 possible damage. Um, his bow might just be better. Eighteen damage a shot. Hmm. Probably a lot less likely to um anger things, but uh eh. Limber got nine damn, she's come a long way too. I think she started with like zero or one. It was pretty bad, but Huntsman has awoken. <laughs> Here. Just reminds me of the freaking snap cube thing with from Shadow of the Hedgehog's dub. You know, like, dude's like, I'm ch I'm updating my audio equipment, and then he just, like, cock back a pistol. <laughs> Fucking love that. Viewing art. Huh. Well, that's another little um, thing they can do. 
Genevieve has returned to the research area. There's some rice here that I, we're probably not going to get another harvest from this, but maybe I'll plant it anyway. Smith, you say you're going to do that, but I think I want you to mm, fucking smile, Dons. Slowly but surely just kind of inching closer to where I am. What about you? How fast are you? Four? Mm. Technically, you're just, you're kind of fast anyway, I think. What's your sp Hmm. Not really sure. But. After you're finished hauling that, I guess we're going to have you go try to shoot these things down here. I might be able to shoot them and then hide in here. That might be a good way to kind of deal with the situation. Let Lemur come out here and do her business. This is kind of like a little, like, impromptu little shelter. <clears throat> well, let's give it a shot, literally. Oh, are they both met? Uh oh. Uh oh. This may have been a mistake. Uh, time to run. Oh God, no! Nope. All right, Huntsman might be dead. I might have that, or just hit, hit, got his shit kicked in. Cause yeah, um, I did. I thought the door. Oh, I didn't claim the fucking door. So it's. The world's like, this is my door. <sighs> well, his right second toe has been bitten off. <laughs> Thankfully, the wounds aren't very grievous. I am just feel very foolish. We might be able to down one of them with our traps, but I... Yeah. Where's everyone at? You're here. You're here. Where's all of up? Oh, he's playing with this fucking tree. Uh, how about you get inside? Where are these things even going? They're just moving in general, I think. I mean, my, it, they're kind of going up this way. I might be able to have somebody go rescue Huntsman. I don't know where they're going. They're kind of going that way. It's like, as long as they go that way, I can, uh... Oh, lady's... Well, lady's already gonna do that. Alright, that's fine. Well... <laughs> well, he's missing a left toe. What are you... What are you doing? Are they just like leaving the map now or are they just like 
going gonna go after some a door or something. Hopefully they're not gonna bother Genevieve. Have they just designated this as their area to fucking be angry at? Maybe. Well, that's convenient for us because we can just drag. Where are you go? Okay, you're you're gonna avoid them, so that's nice. Well, not, not not my smartest idea. I needed to have cleaned this door for it to actually properly work how I was thinking it would, because they just walked right in. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have hit it and I would have been able to probably run away, but I'm stupid. <laughs> so, that didn't happen. Uh-oh. Where's Lemur? Oh, they're trying to get to Lemur, but... Oh, hey, we got air conditioning. How wonderful. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Um, that needs machining. Let's see, we've got air conditioning, battery, solar panel. Uh, my next one would want to be sterile materials, because that'll let us make some silver floors for the kitchen to make it even more sterile. Oh. Oh, that one's kind of moving a little. You are not going out there, Genevieve. I don't care how much you want to, you're not going out there. I don't care how delicious that fine meal is. I'll have Olabar go get it, because he's probably he he might actually be able to take a hit. That was a bit of a fumble, but other than other than the obviously fucked up toe being gone, we probably got out of that way better than we should have been able to. Plus Hunson's got a good doctor. Right second toe. Scream from the injury. Well, that'll happen if, if a big fucking rhino eats your toe. <laughs> or bites it off, I guess, in this case. Yeah, we need to kind of just wait until they get bored and stop. I think the one that we shot is no longer even hurt because their endurance is just... Their healing is probably just really high. Nearby one is also get, got anger, angered. Y'all better not get too close. Those big rhino things are gonna beat your ass. 
like bad like uh, this isn't gonna go well for them because I don't think these things care what per kind of person is in your eye oh no oh did they calm down y'all are so fucking lucky <laughs> well that one's still mad so it's probably gonna up oh. uh oh They got so lucky. This person right all just got kicked a few times. Oh, that's a bite scar. That, that was already there. A psychic soothe to make up for my stupidity. Uh, linked quest. I'm begging for 13 minutes and need the medicine to help their friends at a nearby settlement that was devastated by raiders. You can give the items to traders, travelers by selecting the columns and right clicking on rat. You can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequences. Well, that wouldn't be very nice. Eating an oak, an entire oak tree. God damn. That was not my smartest, uh, that's gonna make his speed a little slower until we can, like, give him an, a, an actual prosthetic leg or something. Yeah, he's, he's a little fucked. He's gonna be a little fucked for a while. Someone else is probably gonna have to, uh, hunt <laughs> something. Not, not this, <laughs> but something. Alright, yeah, they're, they're, they're chilled out, though, so I can un do that I mean Olabar has got an all right shooting skill I could guess I could give him the uh <laughs> the assault rifle oh no he had this uh bow here but maybe I should give him the this bow instead. If we're gonna go hunting stuff, uh, let's see. We've got a wide variety of shit that I probably shouldn't shoot. There's some turkeys. There's Cougar 1 that uh, self tamed earlier. Bunch of boomalopes. Lemurs fixing a wall. <laughs> Think those things aren't angry anymore. That would have been bad. Uh, what else we got? Hair. Hair is right there. There's a hair right there. Well, rest in peace, hair. One arrow in in the head. In just the body. Just boop. Right in the snoot. Consume. <laughs> Haul that shit. We'll let Huntsman rest a little bit more before I have him doing anything, because he's understandably probably a little fucking damaged. Big rhino thing fucking clobbered him. Rat belittled Wu Yu's age. That's not nice. 14 year oh it's because you're you're a fucking child why are these two f do i want to know why they've got this 14 year old well maybe that's dog ears because <laughs> woo you here is a uh yat yatkin or y itakin i don't know how to say their fucking name but they are they they are not strictly human Kind of like Chewbacca, I guess. <laughs> oh, they want... 
they don't want medicine. They don't want herbal medicine. They want other medicine. So yeah, they'll just kind of. Yeah, I don't have the stuff they need in hindsight, so. Oh well. Oliver, wake up real quick and preach some health to our friend. Our little pal here. Once he wakes up. That, that will help things heal up faster. I'm honestly surprised that he didn't get more bitten off because. Shoo! I mean, he'll still heal while he's not in the bed, so. I'm just not gonna. He's just not gonna be able to, uh. Mm. Another Garenlin pod? So we could technically have more than one. I mean, we might as well, I guess. I don't know, see why not, because then we'd have another one that gives us, like, berries or something. Let's see if we can find something a little more substantial than... Ooh, some deer showed up. There's just a bunch of animals back here. I really wish they weren't just back here. Maybe Olabar should grab the, the, the assault rifle. And go say hi to a deer. And hopefully not hit these really fucked up looking elephants. Because they'll... uh. Oh, hello, Smile Don. They'll make things uncomfortable for me if, uh... Oh, everything's running away! Maybe they'll leave this goddamn valley. Well, some of them did. Well, I found the buck I'm gonna hunt, because... Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Ooh. Well, it's probably dead. <laughs> well, that one is. Thing's still eating. He's a big kitty.
Okay, here's hoping this food lets us hang on long enough for him to kind of heal a bit more. Because the right second toe is probably not going to affect his cooking ability. 14 all, oh, jeez. Well, she is blasting through all this research. Sterile, sterile tiles are also good for research areas, too. I guess the, the reasoning is it's it's easier to focus on stuff like that when you are uh, not um, when it's not dirty. Mad hair. Just what I needed. All right, old bar, get inside. Uh, is everyone else already inside? Well, Things just running around. Well, just get back inside in that case. Then I guess <laughs> it'll get it'll get bored eventually. Maybe. Where are you going, you dingus? <sighs> Again, it's like babysitting. this pissed off hair isn't bothering these little critters little creature <laughs> the creature I see that preach health has helped quite a bit because that just made some of the injuries go away. Is the mad hair still mad? <laughs> Probably this one, and it doesn't look like it's m that mad. She desperately needed to clean the random dirt that was out here. Yeah, this fucking bastard's here. Alright, I'm gonna have to have him get up and do some cooking, because we're out of food and he's hungry, so it's probably a good idea to handle that. Oh, I just realized it's like 
Nick, it's like zero degrees Celsius, so all the stuff in here should be uh, frozen. Oh, sneaky little codger. He had a meal in reserve. Manhunter pack, uh-oh. Manhunting huskies, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, there's like two of them. Driven insane by the disease known as Scaria, they will roam the region hunting for humanity flesh. They won't attack doors unless they see someone go through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. Leave the area in one or two days. You can hide and wait them out or fight them. I mean, I could probably have them die going through my trap hallway here. I need you to, like, come inside and I'm gonna... Lock the doors, lock all the doors, lock the doors. God damn it, Lee. Where are you going? Why? What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, stop it. Might have to block off this way with like a wall or something so that the enemies will come down here instead. Because right now they're going up here for some reason and it's kind of annoying. Listen, don't listen to it. It's don't <laughs> death rest. <clears throat> hmm. Research was next. say either machining or drug production and that needs smithing so you know, let's start with smithing I guess happy oh it's got a scar in its brain oh no It's got Manhunter, so we, there's not much we could really do to probably save this critter. Oh, time to time to run, ready to run. Okay, now we draw this other one in and. Well, well, the, um, 
problem has been resolved. Oh God. Okay, and then Lemur's gonna do some repairing. I think there's probably a bunch of trees down here I can start chopping down. Uh, orders, chop wood. Oh, there's some trees in our yard here that can be chopped too. And then there's some down here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, this area here has been a, so far been very helpful to have. <laughs> makes it easy to get around to the traps, makes it easy to kind of get in here and escape. How's Huntsman's body looking? Uh, it's getting better. There's Lemur's researching. We've got all this stuff. 52 granite blocks so we can build like 10 more walls. Hmm. Let's build those. Oh, that's Lady. Wrong person. Transport pod crash. <clears throat> a, low, a low wage worker named Nickel is crashed, crashing in a transport pod. If he survives the impact, he'll be badly wounded. He is from the Broken Empire, which means we should save him and had send him back to his people to get a bonus. So let's find this dude. Always with these weird fucking masks. Uh, Lemur, you're not busy. Well, How about you rescue this guy? <laughs> you're a little injured yourself, but you're fine. You're healing. You're on the mend. It's okay. You're only missing a right second toe. Is this guy going to bleed out, or is he just kind of cracked a little? He's cracked! Uh, I think that since those are bones, I think they don't can't cause an infection.
We're gonna do something like that in case I do decide to like fight stuff like this so that I can like have lots of doors to hide behind for my stupidity. I reckon that might make things a little better on myself. <laughs> And then when we don't need them any longer for that kind of purpose, we can just put them in the rooms that they're eventually going to be. Scorpion's bot. It's making me a little apprehensive. <laughs> Let's not use that those doors right now. Spin is no longer inspired. Shooting frenzy. Oh, your torso. Oh, he's healed. Uh, what's your move speed now? A little slower because of the toe. Yeah, he lost like 4% move speed. Not the end of the Yahoo. world. Yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo! Yay! Yay! Alright, Huntsman, let's have you some do something else that's fucking stupid. Let's find something else to kill. Because we need to make meals. He's pruning his tr he's pruning his tree as usual. If you're done with that, do that. And we're going final research for the second, but I need more blocks. Now that I've backwards long jumped into the grocery store, do you want anything? Um, if you could get me one of those Nitro Pepsis, that'd be pretty sweet. Those are pretty nice. I like those. It's like nitrogen Pepsi. Like with car, with not with carb. It's not carbonation. It's got like nitrogen. Those are great. What are you talking about? No, those I like those. Then again, I like a lot of things that you think are gross, like mushrooms. You're like, ugh, fucking gross. <laughs> so, uh, pain. I am a green bean hater. I'm purple for a reason, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a purple bean, not a green one. <laughs> um, well, it's, pro it's about six, which means it's probably a good time to stop and get dinner with the roommate. Before this one's like kind of piss yellow. Why? Why are you that color? Kind of wish I could get these things away from each other. So I could kill one of, try to kill one of them. But we might have to come down here where all these deer are and get another deer. Because, yeah. Can you milk, can you milk deer? We don't have, oh no, big sad. Do a deer, a female deer. Let's go get them. Yeah, these things are just constantly sharding out herbal medicine. These little green, these little kind of teal dudes. Like we've got like 140 medicine. It's absurd. These things are very overpowered. Like every two days they give you four herbal medicine. So it's basically like every day you get just like free medicine, and they work. Regardless of what season it is, I think. So it's like, just... Let's be very careful not hit a smile dawn, because, I mean... I mean, look at them. They'll, they'll fucking... 
And I'll let you know that you hit him. Deer ain't got no legs. This has got little nubs. <laughs> Right, and he's hauling, he's hauling the deer back. Unfortunate that we got to take out aminals like that, but we we survive and thrive off of these fine meals that are. Hmm. Can we set up a cooler already? I know we've got some electric, some power stuff. And I think it'd be temperature. Okay, we could set up a cooler. We just don't have power stuff built yet. So we probably need to start doing that, but that might be a next stream kind of thing. Like, we'd probably want some batteries. And then we'll connect them with some, like, some uh, solar cells and stuff like that. Um... Yes, I'm gonna chat at my roommate, see if. Hmm, not currently on Discord. Uh, give me a moment and I shall be right back. Stop. OBS, stop it. Alright, I am back, but I'll be ending the stream in a few minutes. Give or take. What am I doing? These don't need to be cut down. They're not going to be in the way. Huh? Uh, thankfully, these things aren't aggressive. They're worth a lot of money, though. Like their horns are valuable. Their meat—they give a lot of meat. They have really good. They—they they give a lot of like hide. Okay, lemurs awake to do some construction.
Well, they're not exactly going to generate a lot of power right now, but... Eventually they will. But yeah, let me go ahead. We're gonna save and quit to OS, and I'm gonna end my stream because me and my roommate need to do dinner. Uh, so I'm gonna end this stream for now. Thank you all so much for hanging out while I play just RimWorld's fun time. Appreciate y'all. Uh, and after dinner, probably closer to like seven, I'm gonna be back and we'll be. We'll round out the night with some uh, modded Minecraft of me just building my base and d playing with Create and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if I can drop a raid on someone real fast. Uh, let's mute that site. I, I Earlier I raided one of my pals, Jedi. And he, uh, I guess, raided into someone, and like I pulled up the stream, and after muting it, it there was just constant head pats. <laughs> uh, let's see, yeah, I'm a lot of a lot of people online because it's Saturday night. Uh, okay, we might we might have to raid my friend Mochi because she's doing something called. The goth er appreciation, which... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, I'm going to end my stream. We're going to raid into Mochi Zuki. Uh, Mochi Zuki VT. Yeah, that's the name. Um, so yeah, if I don't see you there, or if I don't see you later, then I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.